Hello. Hello there. Welcome back to another Nerd Theory. Another Monday. Another Monday. Yeah. So, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? And we weren't talking for like 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll pretend we'll, we'll retrace it all. Um, no, I'm good, man. The weekend was good. I thought the D23 was fun. Um, a lot of cool stuff that we're going to talk about in, tonight and all that. But uh, yeah, it was a good weekend. Do you watch football at all or anything like that? Because nope. you didn't really watch. You're not a really fight guy either, right? Nope. You don't watch the fights. Nope. Right. So there was like football came back. There was cool fights on um, Saturday night. And so, yeah, in general, it was a really cool weekend. Kind of chill, but, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, man, it was, dude, it was insane. So the card was completely different. It was supposed to be this guy, uh, Hamza Shamaya versus Nick Diaz. This Hamza guy misses weight by like eight pounds. And they shuffle the whole card around. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. But the card that we ended up getting, I thought, was even better. And so Tony Ferguson yeah. fought Nick Diaz. Um, Kevin Holland fought uh, Chemayeth. There was a, a lady fight, which was fantastic, uh, and I don't remember the other guys that fought either. But no, it's a good. It was a really good card. Fun night. Cool. I'm glad you had yeah. yeah. And who played in football? Uh, the like everybody did basically. But I, I was just, uh, I'm a Steelers fan, so I watched the Steelers game, which was insane. Um, and they pulled out a win against the team that went to the Super Bowl last year. So I was like, let's go. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And then I like the D23 stuff. Um, what did you think of the Star Wars stuff? And do you think, because did you even watch the Marvel stuff or did you kind of check out? No, I didn't watch any of the Marvel stuff. I, I, so I watched uh, Thor, Love and Thunder at home. Oh, okay. Uh, what would you think of that? Let's go. I, so there were some moments where I'm just like, what the, f like, why is everything so comedic now and just so funny? But at the end, dude, whatever. It was It was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. 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 It's it. definitely not like trash, trash, but no, I think that, it, yeah, I just think that for me, man, there's so much like missed opportunities and like the, the movie really didn't take itself seriously. And it kind of feels, oh, it didn't, you know, pretty inconsequential, uh, you know, looking ahead. But there's a lot of fun stuff with the Marvel stuff that I think is going to lean more serious. Like, you know, they showed that Secret Invasion trailer and that seems real serious. And, but even Quantum Mania seems like it's going to go real serious. So Wait. I'm hoping they kind of shift. Hmm. Did I finish it? Yeah. 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 Right. right. He's in like the dream world or whatever with the gore. He goes, and... he goes to like the eternity thing. And then, okay. uh, yeah. And then they get the yeah, wish. Yeah, where it takes care of her daughter, his daughter, who's like got powers too. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, she's a brand new character. I mean, she's so she's similar to some characters in the comics, but yeah, she's uh she's kind of like a brand new thing. So. God of War, but reverse the well. A lot of people were saying that. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that. And look, I'm I'm down with that. Like, I like a lone wolf and cub kind of thing or whatever. I just want Thor to be a little more serious. That's all. God know? of War is my favorite franchise, dude. Yeah, favorite. Game. Well, that's well that that's coming what uh, November? November. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Wait. Cannot wait that's to. gonna be cool yeah so did you think that because i had this thing because i watched both right and we did like this big long stream i actually felt like star wars had a rare w over marvel and actually had a better presentation which i was kind of shocked by i don't know if no. you yeah i don't know if you oh, felt i well i don't really know marvel so i didn't really watch marvel i didn't uh see in comparison but uh, and chat we want to know what you guys think too but i saw basically is the stream doing okay? Please configure both primary and, and backup streams. What the hell is that? I don't know. Is the stream all right? Give me a warning. Anyways, um, I yeah, we didn't get much. Like yeah. Tales of the Jedi was stood out the most to me. Mandalorian trailer, everyone saw it at celebration. Yeah. Um, it was fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Andor, we all know it's coming. We're excited for it. And then Bad Batch gets delayed, confirmed yeah. now to January. Yeah. yeah um which is late <laughs> yes i don't know what the reasoning behind that is uh does that mean we're now going to get mandalorian delayed well mandalorian technically isn't even dated yet so i don't know if maybe they dated it in the past but when they talked about it at d23 they didn't date it 
they just said 2023. So yeah, I know. I mean, they they'll, they'll say it was never delayed because they never gave us a thing. But I think we all assumed Didn't like it was February. It did. I felt like they did it one time, but they I mean, they didn't give a date yeah, no, this they, time. So they did, bro. They told us February, I think. Um, well, then they're probably shuffling that, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, look, you're right. Like a lot of it was stuff that we already knew about, but I felt like all of the trailers really did hit. Like for me, that Tales of the Jedi trailer far exceeded anything that i thought like they would do promo wise for the show i think a lot of us hardcore people were already excited for it because like we get it right it's like dave he's going back and telling some crazy stories like we're in mm -hmm. but that trailer was so damn epic that i think it pulled in a lot of like kind of more normie fans and people i think are generally way more excited now for that um and i can't wait dude like it just looks so good you know um ahsoka being at padme's funeral this whatever this inquisitor dude was you know uh dooku and mace which i from the book the ahsoka book okay okay so she, i don't she, she yeah. kills him she takes his crystals and purifies them from red to white that's pretty cool so maybe we'll get that in the show that would be fun um so yeah i thought i thought that was really cool what did you think of the mace dooku interactions because Dancer. yeah but didn't it seem like mace was trying to pull him back like i i you mean like no like, no no meaning yeah. like from the dark side or whatever because it looked like yeah yeah yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i thought that was to be pretty interesting so was yeah yeah and i like that because to be honest we never really got any of that you know we we just have duke established as the other side yeah, I, I i hope that you know they look what i said was in the breakdown was if we're getting a season two for visions we got to be getting a season two for this show hopefully right you can't tell me we're getting a season two of Visions, which is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, in yeah, comparison yeah. to this, which is like real Clone Wars mm -hmm. material. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. I think this, right. Well, I think this show is going to pop off for them it's way bigger than what Visions exactly. was. So, yeah, I think this will be a, a no brainer to just keep doing. And honestly, dude, kind of a nice little spot for Dave to exist in as well, because obviously he's very busy now with like his new position and like, you know, producing live action. Mm. But the idea that he can just kind of foster in a few collective shorts and like really just do it in a, like, cause he can't commit to like a full on animated show. I don't think, uh, you know, technically bad batch. Yes. But I like this for him. You know what I mean? Like these little yeah. mini anthologies. I, I kind of think that's a good. I want bit. more. I want more. I want more, dude. I want more too. 100%. Um, speaking of more, I guess there's no more rumors about Ezra. Now we know pretty much for sure that it's yeah. going to be Iman Esfandi. Gonna be I did see your video kind of just reacting to it or whatever, but I mean, what, like, what do you think? Like, how do you, how do you feel about this dude? Whatever. I don't know anything about him. Sure. But he looks a lot like Ezra. I'll tell you that. He looks like Ezra. Yeah. But like, okay. Yeah, I don't know nothing. Yeah. Nothing to really say. It's not like, not like a big deal. It's not like the recast. Yeah, I haven't seen. Here's the thing. I haven't seen him in anything else, right? So I whatever these other things. I think he's done a couple of things, and he's got a new movie coming out. I haven't seen him in any of that. Um, the only thing I know about him was that he was actually, I guess, runner up for the role of Aladdin, but Mina ended up getting it, and Mina was very close to getting Ezra as well, uh, but it ended up being this dude. And I remember talking to you like back in like around May time when we were like, dude, it's like it's not going to be Mina. Um, and now that's kind of out there and official. So, I mean, dude, I like it. And the dude looks, you know, he looks like much more mature than, than Mina. And I don't want to like say that in a, a negative way, but like Mina strikes me as like a very like a young. young yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like more of a young, maybe close to what we see in season four. Yeah. This dude, to me, just by looking at him, and again, I'm not familiar with his work, but just by looking at him, I feel as though he could pull off a way more mature and hopefully darker uh, version of Ezra. So, yeah, I'm I'm pretty hyped up. I hope he I hope he does a lot of fun stuff in season one of Ahsoka. I hope they don't kind of like, you know, tease him out, and then he's like well, the MacGuffin or something. The, so that's the thing I'm I'm thinking about is like, are they going to make him dark side or are they going to make him light side? Because yeah, we, have, we don't know what's going on with Ezra. Is he completely now in well, he's in a different aspect of the force or is he still you know loyal to the jedi way dude there was a really interesting thing that favreau said i'll see if i can find it but he's or no no no. it was in the description where it says they're coming up against 
an unknown thread or something like that with Ahsoka or an, an emerging thread, I believe is the language they use. And I was like, that's wild to me because, you know, we've had all these kind of different rumors of what this was going to be. Do you recall the rumors from a probably a year and a half to two years ago now that there was actually going to be a Star Wars Rebels spinoff? No. Animated. So this was actually like a, this was a fairly big deal because people, you know, Rebels was obviously like really loved and everything. And there was rumor that there was going to be a live action version of that with Thrawn, Ezra, and kind of continuing the story through animated form. Wow. And there were, dude, there were crazy leaks. There were leaks of this old Rakatan being in the show, which I was like, dude, like, let's go. Like the Rakata from, you know, Legends is incredible. And, and having like an older Rakatan, like messing with Ezra and stuff like that. And also yeah. the Grisk were rumored to be, uh, you know, kind of replacing the Vong in that story. And what I was told, and this isn't like super reliable stuff, it's, you know, it's not from like the best sources, but it was that that whole idea that Dave had for the Rebels animated show has now become Ahsoka and what he might do after that, right? So this whole idea of like an emerging threat, is it Thrawn? Is it the Grisk? You know, are we going to see some really, really crazy stuff? Uh, I don't know, but I'm super excited. I mean, Ezra's such a fun character. I think he's a really, really loved character. And he represents this really cool palette to tell a crazy story about light side, dark side, because he's has an affinity for the dark. And, you know, you know has been sort of co-opted a little bit by Maul throughout his maturing and stuff. So, yeah, I like yeah. that a lot. There's a little yeah. bit of Maul in him, you know? Yep. Yeah. He's, you know, Ezra kind of has a Goku thing going on too, where like he befriends, like legitimately befriends some of these people. Like I think Maul really did it at one point care for him. Hondo ends up really caring for him. You know, it's kind of fun. So is that going to be something that happens with Thrawn as well? Like oh, or him and Thrawn? Yeah, but he values Ezra. You know what I mean? Is it maybe just to spite Kanan and, you know, to be a dick? Sure. But I, I think that he actually does and would have loved to take Ezra as a battle. I think he just so. wanted to use Ezra. I think he just wanted a, an apprentice. Mm. I think he wanted him to open the uh, the holocron. Yeah, well, he definitely wanted that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the the fanboy in me, but I felt like... You, you're a big Ezra. Ezra fan, hey? Oh, I'm a huge Ezra fan. Yeah, he's like one of my favorite Jedi, dude. Like legitimately really? love that character. Oh, no yeah. Way. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, I find his thing with the animals to be very interesting. You know what I mean? Like the way that he can communicate with the animals as like a high fantasy fan. That's like a druid kind of thing. So I kind of like dig that shit. And then, bro, like he's legitimately, especially in those later seasons, incredible. Like the one episode, I think it's the beginning of, of season four, where he tears through a hallway of stormtroopers. He then makes one of the ATATs turn on their own men. And then has it walk off the platform. And you're just like, dude, holy shit. Like, this dude's dark and, you know, willing to actually like, go for it. Yeah. yeah. And then his scenes with the Emperor, I think, are just so fucking cool, dude. Because essentially the Emperor offers him exactly what he wants. <clears throat> um, and he just, he really does do that super heroic, you know, sacrifice thing. So, yeah, no, I, I really like Ezra. So, quite excited to see oh, him in live action, happy, bro. Yeah, I'm happy you're going to see him. Uh... I wonder if he's going to be like just a little bit of a, a have a few scenes in there. If he's going to you know, have a very prominent role, yeah, I don't know. I, I have a prominent role in the second I, season. I, yeah, for sure. I think that's probably what's going. On. I hope he gets at least a little bit of something to do in the first season. But I sure. get that feeling that he's just going to be like a MacGuffin and just pop up or whatever. So, well, yeah. I mean, like the whole thing is about him, right? We got to go it's find all Ezra. about him. Yeah, it's all and about maybe him. Maybe in the end they find him and he just does this. Yeah. And takes off the hood got some sith yeah. eyes or something yeah yeah dude <clears throat> i would love that um john also said that the lightsaber fights in ahsoka are like incredible like absolutely incredible and look i'm excited for andor like 100 percent. we'll talk about andor but dude dave filoni doing lightsaber fights and like really going for it like that has me pretty excited man and I hope that Ahsoka is like so damn good that they give him even more of the keys to the kingdom. And they're just like, bro, like just do more of Who that. Who is in charge you know? of Lucasfilm at this time? Still Kathleen? Yeah, Kathleen makes all the calls for sure. I think that Michelle Rejwan has a fair bit of say. I believe Dave is like CCO 
or something similar to that. So like everything creative goes through him, but ultimately like, you know, any kind of mandate or whatever goes through Kathy. So, and he answers directly to Kathy. So to the emperor. (laughs) Yeah. The empress, empress Kathy, somehow she's returned. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And a cup. That what? Oh yeah. No, that's the Canadian bear. That's the Canadian Wait, bear himself. I get so triggered at that. It triggers me. Oh, so much. yeah, because he's not even Canadian. He's not Canadian. He's never even. Canadian. Yeah. I don't even understand it, but it's funny looking. I'm triggered. You know what I mean, Jay and the Jay and the bear thing in the suit is just very funny. I, you know, apparently he's got like a book or a kid's book coming out soon. I assume it's the lore mm. of the Canadian bear. I assume it's going to be a deep dive into no, he, what the hell this is. He told, he told me about it. That, that kid's book is, if that pops off, he's going to be one of the best um, children's authors, I feel like, of the nice. year. So it's yeah. not about the Canadian bear? I don't know how much I can really tell, you know, but no. <laughs> I mean, unless he's, like, releasing a different one that he, you know, but he told me this story a couple of years ago, and it was very, very beautiful. Well, I'm going to... Very gonna, nice story. I'm going to judge it pretty harsh. It. Kids are going to love it, dude. All right. Cool. No, I'm excited for him. I think that's going to be super fun. Yeah, it was a really, really profound story. It was very nice. Well, I'll check it out. I can't help but be a little disappointed that it's not the lore of the Canadian bear, but what you going to do, bro? You know what I mean? What you going to do? So, Andorra. Yeah. Andor. How we how we feeling? Yeah, how I'm we... ready for it. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I can't wait for Andorra. You know, but I, yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be exciting. I think it's going to be a really nice show. I think it's going to be really high budget. I think it's going to have a great story. I think it'll incorporate a lot of our favorite characters. Vader, Emperor, Krennic, Tarkin. I think we'll see um, a lot of the in-between with uh, the Separatists and the Empire. You know, the clones and the Empire, the Republic and the Empire. How everything used to be versus how it is now and how it's becoming and how it's going to be. I think it's going to be a show that will portray this transition period. Much like how the Bad Batch did, but maybe now a little more hardcore because you're further in. Um, I think it's going to be a really great show. But at the same time, I'm really excited for Tales of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it for sure. But um, I would say Tales of the Jedi is probably on my mind the most, mm-hmm. and which we get all six episodes up front, and yeah. then we get um, after that is going to be Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess no. Tales of the Jedi comes October 26th or something, 27th, and yeah, Andor will run until there's 12 episodes, right? So that's three months. So it'll run until what is that? No, like December. November or something. I think it's November 11th or something like that is when it runs to. No way. I think so. Look, you got four. Oh, because they're doing three. 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 So you got nine. So you got 10 weeks all day, basically. Yes, you're shaving off basically three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Um, And then, so I guess nothing November, December. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not anything in November, December, depending on when they do Visions. Did they give Visions to a hard date? No announcement for Visions. Mm. Okay, yeah, so who knows when that comes, yeah. Uh, Well, there's a big investor call. I think it's like December 10th, so maybe they'll like clarify some things on December 10th. Um, But, I mean, look, going back to the Andor thing, I I, and I'm really interested in what the chat thinks for sure, like, because this show is very curious for me because it, it does look legitimately awesome. But, like, it's just so weird that it's an Andor show. And we just came off of, like, you know, Boba Fett and Kenobi, right? And now and now it's, like, Andor and Andor looks, like, you know, better than both of those shows. It's just kind of weird, right? Um, I find myself, though, getting pretty excited for it. I felt like that final trailer, the one they just dropped, was fantastic. Yeah. And I feel like everything yeah. I see from the show just looks so damn good like it legitimately looks awesome so and it looks like it's so big in scope and the budget seems awesome and so like i'm i'm super excited about it um i just wonder like how it's gonna hit with the fans you know yeah well look i mean i i think when you have a show that doesn't encompass or isn't about a legendary character like boba or obi-wan or you know whatever it's most likely gonna do okay 
Mm -hmm. Like, how much can you really mess up? Well, they're promoting the shit out of it, though. That's the thing. It's like, I want to know what the numbers are going to be, right? Really? Because Where? I haven't seen, we've seen like two trailers. Oh, dude, no. They've done a ton of trailers. They did this, uh, this Disney Plus Day thing. Like, they're going for it, in my opinion. And I see it on, uh, like when I was watching football, like I saw a lot of spots for it. Oh, really? There was a spot for it on the UFC, dude. Oh, wow. I don't have cable. Yeah. yeah, they're just going, dude. Like they're just, it seems like they are really trying to, which I didn't, to be fair, I wasn't watching as much TV back then, but I don't remember that for Kenobi. I guess they did run a lot of spots for Kenobi moving towards it, actually. But uh, yeah, they're they're ramped up on this production or this promotion for um for Andor, so I I just want to know I want to know what kind of numbers it draws in and how the fan base reacts because I feel like they could use a dub I feel like the fans want a dub so hopefully it's a big old dub yeah well, we always want it to win we never want Star Wars to lose but the thing is with a show like this I think it's going to be such a interesting series because it can cover so many different topics like you're not mm. like with Obi Wan we're kind of just stuck to Obi Wan and Vader and then they put Reva in there and it was like all about her sure. and then they put Leia in there and it was all about Leia. so it was like there's only so much you can really do and then fans will get annoyed or upset if they're taking too much time and focusing on someone else but with right. a show like this it's like I don't really care if you give me all and or or don't right sure. like if you don't give me all and or it's going yeah. to be a whole bunch of other characters it'll be about the Empire it'll be about the mm -hmm. clones it'll be about um, I don't know Vader officers it'll that Arkham. uh scars guard dude i do think a lot of episodes will focus on him like maybe even the first three yeah he seems interesting too yeah it seems fun so, so i think yeah. with, with a show like that it's kind of like a smorgasbord where you can kind of cover so many different things in star wars and you don't just have to be like give me all of obi-wan kenobi and if you don't if you deviate a little bit like i'm gonna hate you so it's, sure. it's a little more chillax in that sense yeah they've it's, got a wider runway to land this bird yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's awesome, man. And I, like, you know, it's literally next week. <laughs> it's pretty crazy uh, that it just comes out next week. So that'll is be it fun. No, it's 10 days, man. Two. Um, so two weeks. Week? It is next week. What the oh, hell? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Next Wednesday, right? Next Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, wow. man, let's get it. Let's get it. Three episodes and up. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, no, what do you think of Skeleton? <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be a very long watch party because then everybody's gonna want to chat for a long time about them too. So yeah, it's gonna be yeah. Then the breakdown. Epic. Yeah, Stevo, my editor, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, bro. It's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long night. Yo, long. what do you think of the skeleton crew? There wasn't much talked about, but we did see an official image. Yeah, and we got a timeline. Goonies. Cool. Yeah. Fun. I'm, I'm all about the Goonies. All about adventure. Yeah, I mean the image looks okay. I guess I'm interested. I mean, it's it's very it's Jude Law. You know what I mean? Like it's definitely Jude Law, uh, and he's got like this weird green scarf and then like a leather jacket. I was hoping he would be like a Jedi or something like that. Oh sure, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you now. Probably gotta zoom in on this though. Yep. I mean that's a. Yeah, a whole lot of Jude Law, you know, and then the the kids in the background and everything. So it's, I mean, they're already shooting and that's fun and everything. But yeah, was, I don't know, it's, dude. There's something about like really recognizable actors in Star Wars that I don't like, actually. Hmm. Like, I just don't like it. Like, I I feel like a Star Wars character should pop up, and I have like no idea what kind of mannerisms or what kind of person they are. And I feel like with recognizable characters, like it just takes me out of it a little bit. Um, I, I see what you're saying, but I think with really great actors, you won't be able to even notice. You'll just be so entranced and enthralled into the story, I believe. And that's, yeah. that's why they're probably hired, because they're good. They're yeah, good yeah, yeah. Experience. They're seasoned. Seasoned, I like that. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. I, I don't know what to expect for it. Hopefully it's real cool, but... Um, yeah, that was definitely something they leaned into. And then, of course, the Mando Season 3 trailer. Now, you said uh, we saw this before. But, dude, I mean, they didn't release anything publicly. You know what I mean? After Celebration. So, I was very excited to to gaze on this trailer and to I get it all in. I didn't watch the leaks, but I know a lot of people. Yeah. That's that's the one, apparently, people got to see. Mm -hmm. I think it's slightly different. But, yeah, it's like a, definitely a version of that trailer. Oh, it's different. 
Yeah, it's different. It looks cool. I mean, the action sequences look cool. The space battles look cool. The the fighting on Mandalore looks cool. You know, there's some fun pirates action going on too. So I'm pretty hyped up. Pretty hyped for that Mandalorian. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just depends on get it. You're like, mm, yeah. Yo, let me show yeah. you a few of these pictures from uh look. I just want them Ahsoka. to stick to their dates. That's the only thing. I'm just like, you know, oh, uh, bro, they they can't. Bad Batch isn't coming out. Like it was, it's supposed to be out in. Oh, they can't. Two weeks. Theory. They can't do that, and they can't make movies. Okay, so we just need to lower our expectations to the freaking basement, and then it'll be okay. Okay, just enjoy the content. Yeah. Now look at these yeah. Ahsoka pictures. You're being so uh, negative. You're being so negative. Um, yeah, check this out. Oh, what I didn't see these. these. Yeah, yeah, man. Kind of cool. Looks like uh, some Jedi Templeage stuff, a little world between worlds looking stuff there. Kind of interesting. The mic's in the shot, though. Um, this looks cool. Mm. Holding the blade. Now, this one was real cool, man. That's the mo- uh, wow. mural from, yeah, yeah, from the end of uh, DOS Rebels. So, yeah, pretty cool, man. Excited to see uh, this in Sabine. live action. Yeah, it's Sabine, yeah. Super fun, super fun stuff. That's pretty cool. Go down, anything. go down, go down, go down. Uh, 2023 and beyond. What? What is all this? What do you mean? Oh, oh this. this. Okay, yeah, no, this was. Right. On, no, 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 no. On the right. Uh-huh. Can I go down? The people just. What, what is this? Young Jedi Adventures. Oh yeah, this is a Disney Plus series that's apparently coming out. I believe they did talk about it. This is all the stuff that was announced. Uh, no, these are just threads that are. A droid story. Mm-hmm. What? What? What is all this? Hold on. These oh yeah, just... Lando. What the hell happened to that? Right. Exactly. So these are all just projects that at one time were either heavily rumored or we think were coming, and then they have just ways to navigate into those threads. Hunters. Is that the game? Mm-hmm. It's like a little MOBA or whatever. Oh, uh, this one's kind of interesting. So John brought. Oh my god. John brought out. Uh, the Mandalorian and Yoda, who are now going to be at Galaxy's Edge, which is kind of fun. Yeah, about time. Yeah, maybe I'll actually go now. Maybe I'll actually check it out. Yeah. Well. But yeah, overall, man, I was, look, you know, you're right. It was stuff that we knew about. But overall, I was super impressed with what they showed. And uh, I feel like for Star Wars, that's kind of probably good enough. And a lot of the stuff that's on the way seems really cool. So, yeah, let's get it. I'm pretty pumped for Acolyte, dude. Chat, what do you guys think about Acolyte? Ready? Yeah, what do you think about Acolyte, chat? I'm interested. Dude, from what you told me from that leak, I think it could be the coolest show. Yeah, I'm it really sounds cool. awesome, right? If, if, if that's legit, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, if they can... If they can do that in a really cool stylized way and it just works, because it actually reminds me of uh dude. Someone just got cast for it was the guy from um Squid Game. Squid Game. Yeah, that dude's awesome. That dude's awesome. They got some good talent in there for sure. Just gotta land it. Gotta bring it home. Yeah, execution. I think it'll yeah, be right. Execution's key. Should be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for sure should be good. The show. Okay, so um what was the leak? Uh, go to Star Wars Theory Plus and watch my video on it, where me and Josh talk about it. just like a little clip. Yeah, and it's kind of vague. We we keep it kind of vague. We don't go too crazy on it, but yeah, it seems fun. Did you watch Cobra Kai season five? I've I'm thinking like three or four episodes in. Um, it's a tough one because Elisa doesn't love the show, meaning she doesn't like the show, meaning we can't watch it together. So I have to try to find like my own time to like watch it. So. If I'm up early with Liam or something, I've been catching Which up. Which not a Karate but... Kid fan? Nah. Oh. Yeah. And unfortunately, she also she has this thing where she can't watch stuff out of order. So I forget what was going on. I think it was before, right when the last season was about to drop. And I just convinced her to just watch like the, the last season before that instead of the whole show. Yeah. Uh, and she hated it. She said it was corny. I mean, it is a little corny, but it's like fun. It feels like anime to me. You know? Yeah, but that's, that's Cobra Kai. Yeah. <laughs> you got to watch Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. No, I like it, though. I like it. 
there's the stuff with like Johnny and maybe being a father. I don't know how that's going to pan yeah, out, but I was awesome. like, yeah, I was like, that's pretty interesting. You know, can yeah. relate. He's like crying right now. Actually, I hear him out there. But um, is he? Yeah, yeah, he's whining about something. Maybe he's hungry. Um, yeah. So other than that, I don't think there was too much going on, bro. I mean, people were people were looking forward to maybe something announced about uh Jedi Survivor, but nothing, dude. They didn't nothing. give us nothing with That's her that. It. So yeah, passable, I'd say. Well, I, you know, Survivor's coming out in March. Yeah, I believe so. Is that six months? <sighs> Maths? Uh, yeah, let's just say it's yeah, about five six, or six. Six months, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they got time, I mean, for sure. It's probably going to be a banger. People will be excited either way. <laughs> it's be like two weeks before it comes out, they'll start announcing trailers. Yeah, or they'll and... announce that it's delayed again. Jeez. Yeah, delayed indefinitely. Put it on the back burner. Yeah. Yeah, okay. indefinitely. Right. A lot of people are still saying that that mother flipping uh, Patty Jenkins movie will probably never happen now, which is wild. Yeah, they need to get their act together. I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either, my oh. friend. All we can hope is that they just give Dave everything after Ahsoka. And we're just like, let's go. No, just have, just bring George back, bro. Just I would love George it. Want it again. I would love it. What the hell are you guys doing here? What, what on? I don't think they got the guts, dude. I don't think he wants it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want, he doesn't want it, but why would he want it? Did you see him at the podium when he was giving Mark Hamill his star? No. He was like announcing something, and someone in the crowd was like, George, we want you back in Star Wars. The guy literally, he did this. He's like, like no, I'm done. <laughs> literally left. He's like, no, no, I'm done. <laughs> Damn, dog. Like, no further questions. Just... No. I mean, when you're a billionaire, though, you know what I mean? And I you're think, like, I don't think it, it like he didn't need money when he sold it, you know? Uh, No, he didn't. But he became like, basically, he was able to just make a sort of. It just becomes more secure for him, honestly. That's all that he is. was worth a bill when he sold it already. Yeah, no, he probably was. But like he is in charge of i think this is a better arrangement for him if he doesn't want to do shit basically because otherwise he has to do all of these different things lucasfilm was a private company it wasn't a public company so it wasn't even um like you know if you own your own stake in a, a publicly traded company it's a way to sort of prop up your net worth george didn't even have that so he's like royalties cash flow and things like that i think when he you know, made the arrangement with Disney. It, it put him into like a different kind of wealth. Um, but yeah, he's always been. I mean, ever since literally the seventies, he's been incredibly wealthy. He's been okay, but like, I, I don't think that was at the forefront of his mind. I think it was like, no, it wasn't. No, you know, um, he wanted them to cover his story. I mean, he wrote them literally seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally wrote episode seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. He was going to film seven and then he was going to give it off to Disney just so the fact that they would have to continue on yeah. his story, you know, and, and I think that's what really hurt him. And like yeah. in the Bob Iger book and all that stuff, like there were so many moments where he was, um, I don't know what was it, Irvin. Uh, it's been a different ton of different spots. He talked yeah, about it yeah. in the Iger book, or actually Iger talked about it, which is ironic. He talked about it in that interview with the dude where he made the slavers comment. Um, even a little bit with James Cameron, and then he talked about Howard it in the... Howard wrote an wrote a, uh, autobiography, I think. It was Howard okay. Kizanjian. And he... Um, it was in there, I believe, where he mentioned that when George was giving Mark Hamill his star, he went. they went across the street to the hotel, and he was, like, reaming out Kathleen Kenner. He was, like, very upset with her or something like that for what she did. Hmm. Yeah. It would be a great feel-good story if they could, like, get him back somehow. But I just, again, I don't know how you do that. Maybe if Dave was running the whole show, he'd be willing to come I'm sure back he and talks to Dave. something. I'm sure he talks to Dave. Man. Oh, hell yeah, dude, of course. Yeah. Of course. It's got to. Yeah. Oh, I hope he's happy, man. I hope he's enjoying his life, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, from what I've heard, he's really enjoying putting together that library or that uh, museum. Yeah. So, you know, that's like a, a big deal for him, and I think it'll be cool to visit that someday, so. 
it's like a presidential library, but for this pop Nerds. culture icon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I should go there. Dude, we should. It'd yeah. be fun. Down. What's up, boys? This is Star Wars Sith with 20 bucks. I cannot wait to binge and rewatch Tales of the Jedi. It looks so damn good. More Clone Wars, more stories we want. Please just have Filoni give us an animated movie in theaters in Filoni we trust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, theaters or on the Disney Plus thing. Whatever, man. I just am, yeah. More, I think more animated shows from Dave is the way to go. Yep. And uh, if Ahsoka slaps, give him all the live action too. Just give him everything. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks, Shadow. I'm going to be releasing some stuff for Vader episode too soon for you guys on members only. First Mid-dollar. again, hello, fellas. How was that D3 weekend? We'll yeah, that. we liked it. That's a cute puppy. Cute puppy there, Mandalore. Is it a real one or did you make it in CGI? Mojat says, go woke, go broke. Seems to be happening more with other franchises too, like Marvel, Lord of the Rings. Do either of you think it will get to a point where fans start organizing boycotts and would you actively support action like that? You want to take that one first? Yeah, I'll take that one first. Uh, I don't know if fan. Well, I think, I think fans individually boycott stuff with their wallets, you know? Right. It's just like, you know what? I'm tired of this. You're not taking it in the direction I want. So I'm not going to watch your crap anymore. Right. Um, my way of doing that is that I still see the stuff, but then I will openly and publicly talk about it, which is my way of being like, hey, what the hell is this? I think that has more, that does a little more than me just not paying for their product. Um, but I'm fortunate enough to have the platform I have where I can speak my mind and I'm not like a shill. Where I just tell you, go do this. Go watch this. It's amazing. <laughs> next right. product it's amazing you know so i think yeah i think fans will always have their own way of boycotting things do i support it uh no i don't support boycotting i support fans to do what they want so if they don't want to watch something they don't have to if they want to watch it go watch it like i don't mm-hmm. i'm not this or that i think what will happen is fans eventually will create their own fan films and while it'll never generate money like never what? say never never say never but maybe not in the foreseeable future yeah well um in my case uh it'll never create generate money for them um but it will show the companies through the fan support through the comments through the shares through the likes and the interaction from fans what they really like and what they really want Mm-hmm. And I, th- I think that's what will help the companies to really understand like, oh, okay, well, maybe we had it all wrong because they're numbers people. They're not really, I don't think they're fans of, like the f- people working at Marvel, I don't think a lot of them are really big Marvel fans. I don't think a lot of them are really big Star Wars fans. I think a lot of them just got a job. They get a job, they move on to the next thing. Sure, they may like it a little bit, but they're not like insanely passionate about this thing like perhaps you or I or everyone else watching right now is, right? It's a job and they have these, they have these, these suit people working at high up there in the company and they're looking at numbers. They're not looking at story. They're looking at numbers. What can bring the most demographic of inclusivity of this and that, or what can we pander to, to the latest political bullshit Mm -hmm. and what will get us the most, whatever reviews on rotten to like, I, I don't really know exactly how it works. But I just know that it's not sincere. It doesn't feel genuine. It just feels like um, the best way for me to explain it is if you've ever seen Ready Player One, you know, it feels like IOI. Mm, sure. Yeah. And like they're like they're trying to really, you know, pretend like, hey, yeah. I'm cool, I'm hip. Like, you know, yeah. when he was doing the whole thing with the, with Animal House and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, like when he was, mm-hmm. you know, pitching the whole, everything. But mm-hmm. that's the thing is that they'll eventually. I should end your your rule. It's like they'll know. <laughs> yeah, they'll yeah, eventually yeah. know, dude. When fans yeah. make some bomb ass films and blow up the internet, they will be like, "Oh, okay. We'll look at these numbers." And then their dumb little pea brains will be like hmm? looking at the numbers on the views or the comments or whatever, and they'll be like, "Well, maybe we need to do this." It's like, "Well, you guys are stupid." This is why George was so successful is because he was passionate about his project. He was passionate about his story 
He created these. He's characters. a visionary too. I mean, a visionary. there's not he's... a lot of that. No, right there, now. there, there, there isn't. And in today's world, it's all about money and numbers, and it's not about telling a story. It's all about politics. It's all about agendas, and it is no longer about completing a nice and good story for the audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's just milk it, pump it out, and on to the next. Yeah, and that's what these companies are missing and it will be their downfall because when the fan starts to rise to power and the fan has money, they will be shitting in their pants. Mark my yeah. words. Yeah. So I guess my take on it is I think that the get woke, go broke thing. I mean, I think it's a little bit overplayed, but I do I, agree. I, I, yeah, the go woke, go broke. I, I don't, no, I don't but... necessarily subscribe to that as like a hard and fast rule, but I do think no. that the truth is being really pushy with your politics, especially if you're left leaning politics at a time when people are just so divided. That's that's what's called stupid. Like, so, you know, if what you're calling get what go broke is the studios that are pushy about this and then like double down on it and like social media and shit like that, then like, yeah, 100 percent. I think that's really stupid. But I do think that it's just trend chasing. And they do ultimately just chase the numbers. And I think that instead of like boycotting, I think that the truth is when something comes around that you think like doesn't do that, you support it. And I think like you're seeing that already. So like this Top Gun Maverick movie, it's absurd, dude. Like it's it made so much money that like if Hollywood doesn't try to at least derive some kind of a lesson from that, then they are really stupid. I haven't seen and, it. Oh, it's fantastic, bro. Yeah. Um. And even like, you know, there's this thing going on right now with um, DC where like this David Zasloff guy is kind of saying that like he wants to put story above, you know, representation. And I think it's totally fair to say that things have tended or, or trended on that side of things in a lot of different ways. Like it's just numerous examples. You might champion that. And you might think that's incredible. You might absolutely hate it. Regardless, I think that any like fair, logical person has to agree that yeah they've been doing a lot of it and it could just be a saturation thing um you know audiences are fickle you know like i do think it'll change you know what i mean and hopefully come back into balance like i i see that in marvel you know on the horizon um maybe even in star wars and in other yeah. properties as well so you think so i think so i mean look again the people just want they want success and they want money and i think that the more the more hard data that they can associate with these kind of decisions, the more I think that these studios will learn and just bring things back into balance. Are they going to completely abandon like the idea of representation? No, probably not. And to be fair, if you look at Disney's no, checkered past, I don't think, the I think they uh, is a bad thing. No, it's not. I don't know what the big deal, like what is like, What's the problem with it? I, I don't understand. No, there's like, not an inherent problem with it at all. I mean, I think some people view it that way because their personal identity is so wrapped up in like anti-woke stuff. Like they watch anti-woke videos. They put on channels that are anti-woke. They, You know what I mean? Like that's just their shit or whatever. So they're like their new religion almost. So mm -hmm. for some people, like that's just, they're so far on that side that like that's what it is. But to be fair, there are a lot of just regular ass people, male and female, liberal and, you know, you know, conservative that also are just a little tired of kind of being preached at, you know what I mean? Or, oh, or having tired. these ideas be put. Oh, I'm 100% right? tired. Yeah. yeah. But when I say diversity, I'm like, I don't I don't need a show that's just all white people. Sure. I don't need a show that's just all black people. I don't need a show that's just all Asians. Like, sure. Give me diversity in a show. I don't care. Yeah. I'm mixed. Yeah, I feel much I'm, the same. I'm, I'm hella mixed myself. Like, I mean, so for me, like seeing that Ezra is played by, I believe, like a, a Iranian guy. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But it yeah. doesn't make me feel like more connected to the show. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Oh, is like this the the subject is so complex, I right? Ezra was, was Hispanic. <laughs> I think he was Middle Eastern. I mean, and, and honestly, even he, though he doesn't necessarily look like that, his parents definitely do. When you see his parents in the show, they look pretty. Uh, eastern to me mm -hmm. but um i mean yeah that's my answer dude basically it's like yeah i think it'll go back into balance that's what i think yeah let's just tell good stories man like i don't mm -hmm. i feel like today everything is about 
just politics and uh yeah you know as i've always said we're one alien invasion away from sexism and racism just melting yeah yeah i agree you know we, we also are don't necessarily people. want the alien invasion though nah of course not depends how cool are they we are coming maybe they have like incredible ice cream like the best ice cream you've ever had yeah and maybe, maybe they not. they get it from harvesting human bodies and they ran out of it damn so that I mean, they're here now what do you guys want with us we are out damn. of our favorite flavor human Shit. well that would be terrible but also how good is it you know how good are we talking here? Probably really good, man. Hmm. I don't know. Get to break a few eggs to make an omelet. As they say. <laughs> That's the aliens, yeah. <laughs> All of them <make> rules. <laughs> Correction D23 type I blame Catherine Kenny. Yeah, well, a lot of that going around. Terry, congrats on the baby, Josh. Six new tats. Yeah, yeah. reverse that. <laughs> what the hell? That's a funny looking... Uh, is that a fingerprint on his thing? Oh, and you know what else I wanted to say real quick, not to like totally go on a side tangent here, but like, so I've been messing around with like AI art, right? And I've yeah. been getting into like this rabbit hole on this. And I'm telling you right now, dude, shit's about to change in the next 10 years, maybe 15 years to where you're going to be able to tell an AI what you want a scene to look like. And it's going to be able to render with like barely any time at all, photo realistic versions with flawless animation of like the shit you want. So like, a set, dude, it's so crazy. Cause I think art is going to get into a really weird place where a lot of the barriers for storytellers are going to begin to disappear. And so you might start to see like really crazy original IP pop up all the time. Uh, and that I think would really put the status quo of what Hollywood has been doing on its uh, heels a little bit. So I'm telling bro, it's coming. Their time is, like they'll still keep making their money, mm -hmm. but fans will be able to course correct a lot of things and be like, "Look, you it's don't hold the power anymore." It's wild. Yeah. Thought it was crazy to us. Yeah, that is. Yeah, so is it? Yeah, that was really cool. Dad, please, mate. Yes. Top team. Hundred, hundred percent. Ah, shit, hey guys, Susan from the lobby. The stream. I need to get paid. I need to get. I need to get paid me overtime or me or give me a raise, Josh. No raise. You're lucky we yeah, pay you at all, Susan. Yeah, Literally, sure. you're like a liability. It's crazy, Susan. I don't pay you. Ain't nobody paying your ass. Yeah, Susan. Ain't. You ain't working for me. Watching you guys with the Denver Seattle game in the background. The vibes are immaculate. Much love, fellas. Yo, that's cool, man. How's that game going? Michael Serta. Michael Serta. It's a cool name. Should be a rapper name. Okay. All right. All right. Josh. Hamzad or Colby. Yo, is that actually a fight happening? I'd go Colby all day. I really don't like Hamzad, dude. Thanks, Bernice. The show from South Beach. Jimmy Castle, the role of she -Hulk. I don't know who that is. Me neither. I stopped watching She Hulk. Uh, I'm gonna keep watching it, but I'm taking a couple week break from watch parties. Why? Well, my dog has surgery on Thursday, and Liam has an appointment, and then next week I'm just gonna do Andor, uh, and then I'll finish it out after that. But yeah, I'm like kind of two two for two with with She Hulk. There's two episodes I really like, two episodes I really don't like. So I don't know. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes from here. Hot D though, House of the Dragon. Damn. I haven't seen it yet. It's a good show, bro. What's up, Ryan? What up, homies? You two have the most based personalities on YouTube. I envy how well spoken you both are. If they ever develop Battlefront 3, what Jedi Sith would y'all want as playable heroes and villains? Well, thanks, first of all, for that. Mm -hmm. I would say. Bro, give me Nihilus. Nihilus would be sick. Just. It's drains you and then i want to go kit fisto and give him sick water abilities where he can like actually like get into the water on maps and like swim around that'd be fun yeah. Yeah. um yeah maybe some legends people maybe xr yeah let's do it maybe they do battlefront legends that would be fun sabayoth would be kind of interesting dude 
That'd be cool. I wish they'd actually stream the panels. We wanted to see like the Marvel and Star Wars put it on Disney Plus or something. Yeah, I agree. It was wild that they didn't do it, but um, yeah, I don't know. They just don't feel confident, I guess, enough to to do that, or they want to make it a, a special experience for people oh, that are there. I don't. Yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, make it all exclusive. Yo, Ovila Gayoncier. That Obi Wan doc hit that feels hard. You guys are awesome. Me and the GF look forward to the pod every week. Keep doing what you're doing, both of you. Thanks, man. Much love, man. Appreciate you, Gayon. See you. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. What up, boys? Uh, have you guys read Truce at Picara? Uh, I'm almost finished. I think it's great so far. Looking forward to getting more into Legends. No, I don't think I've read that one. What is what oh, is that? It's, a, it's an older one. Yeah. Hmm. Truce at Picara. I don't know about that. Sounds fun though. Yeah, it's an older one, man. It's um, nineteen ninety three. Hmm. Kathy Tires, dude. I've been thinking about going back and watch some of the old Dragon Ball movies, like Tree of Might and shit. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've visited those. That new Broly movie, man, I really like it. It's really good. I saw it's it in really theaters. Good. How many years ago was it? I saw, it was I think three or four now, but yeah, I saw it in the theaters too. What a great experience! But to be honest with you, seeing superhero was a great experience, dude. My theater was popping for Dragon Ball Super Superhero. It's a good time. There were like, there were like three people in my theater. Right? What really, bro? My theater was packed. People were o'clock. cheering. Oh, okay, yeah, I went like the day it came out at like four, so it was like, oh yeah, no, I I went. Yeah, people were out. I saw the Broly movie. At Irvine, in Irvine, at the Irvine Center or something like that. That, that hmm. anybody from Irvine here? Anybody from Irvine? Really liked it there. Wouldn't mind to go there again. Hmm. So they they got a cool theater there too. Yeah. Here and Josh currently work at Disney and got an opportunity to do a meditation with Ashley Eckstein at Galaxy's Edge in a few weeks. That's really cool. Se- sequels are garbage, but Disney isn't all bad. Stoked to meet her. That's cool, yeah, man. man. Yeah, she seems like a really nice girl. She seems very genuine. Yeah, she does. No, that's yeah. super fun, man. Look, I mean, I, as a kid, I was a big Disney fan. I told you guys a million times. Um, when they announced that they were buying Lucasfilm, I ran to my parents. And I'm like, guess who's buying Lucasfilm? Disney. And I was like so excited, you know. But um, they just keep making decisions that lead me to think otherwise. That's all. I think everyone behind Pixar is really um, amazing. Yeah, they do good stuff. I mean, there's been good Star Wars stuff too. I just, you know, I think that they've fumbled a lot, and I think their PR is just ridiculous at this point. I just have a hard time forgiving them from for the sequels. You know, like that's it. Just it's damn, bro. Like I don't know. I don't want to talk about it again. Have you seen (laughs) Kevin Bacon sing "It's Corn"? No, no. That kind of sounds funny though. What up, fellas? Super stoked for the Tales of the Jedi series. Exactly what I've been wanting from Star Wars. Do you think? They would do another season of it based on Revan's story. Ooh, interesting. Go back in time. Yeah, go back, back. You got my vote, man. To come back to the nineties. Why not? I'd do it. Disappointed in the lack <laughs> of Luke and Ahsoka in the Mando season three trailer. Super duper hype for Tales of the Jedi, though. Yeah, no Luke Soka appearances, man. What a bummer. What can Hold you do? Your dreams. Only in dreams. Tales looks fantastic. What worries me is length of episodes. If we were complaining about length when it came to the Mandalorian, I'm sure the shorts will be too short. Yeah, they might be like 10, 15 minutes, but I mean, hey, man, if they're popping, they're popping, you know? Yeah, that's ridiculous, though. They got to be like 30, 45 minutes, you know? No. <laughs> no way, dude. Ain't no way they're doing that. Should be doing that. I mean, I'd be down, but then I'd go weekly release. You know, like you, I don't think you, yeah, drop all of those, yeah, give me a re- weekly release, sure. Mm-hmm. Sub G's, this is where the fun begins. Amen. So Maybe they're gonna change it, bro. Maybe they're gonna make it all weekly release. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> weekly release of like 10 minute episodes? Yeah, I can't actually. <laughs> I mean, you guys, it'd be a very Lucasfilm. Uh, no, like Disney, Disney, Disney controlling them. Sin City Sith, I want Ahsoka's show to be about Ahsoka, not a cameo fest. Where the main character isn't the focus, like Obi and Booba. Hmm. Booba. Right 
Right on Sin City. I disagree. I want a cameo fest. I want a new cameo every minute and a half. And if I don't get a show. Spaceman says, what did you think of CK season five? What? What's it? Cobra Kai, right. Uh, I loved it. It was dark and amazing. Also, that ending, kind of wish we heard Silver's theme. Hopefully, we hear it next season. Yeah, I haven't finished it, but it's good so far. Yeah, I haven't given my review on it yet. Um, I just got to watch it again. The whole thing. And so there's some stuff you liked and some you didn't? <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. You want to talk about what you didn't like? You want to just oh, the... no, I want to watch it again. So I'm going to rage out. Well, no, the last thing I want to do is like shit on Cobra Kai. It's like I don't want to do that. Uh oh. So I just want to watch it again. There were a lot of things I really liked, but I just remember watching it. I was like, I was extremely jet lagged when I watched it. I watched it at like I think three in the morning. I had just woken up. So I don't know. Um. Yeah, I'll watch it again. I'll watch it again and I'll have like a proper take on it. I Damn. I really liked a lot of things in it. Uh, some of the things I was hoping for a little bit more. Um, and then the ending, uh, I didn't really like the ending very much. But. Damn. Like the season okay. finale was dope, but there were some things in there that I was just like, hmm. I was like, eh. But I'm just a fanboy of certain characters. So I'm like, eh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. No problem. But the team did a great job. They did an amazing job hmm. as always. So I'm excited for, uh, next season if they make one i think it would be dope if bo katan teams up with mando but turns on him by the end of season four with a type of mandalorian war between two sides just a possibility since she wants the dark saber yeah that would be cool i mean look man i've been seeing a lot of interesting threads talking about bo katan and like i think the truth is she's actually not a good person at all um no. So it's kind of crazy that like in live action we all just like associate all this like heroic shit to her. She is not that. So I'm interested in if they explore that at all uh with her in the next season of Mando. So I'm interested if they explore that. Wow, damn, dude. Yo, Nick, how you doing, man? Um, how's the treatment, mood, dude? Well, I guess he's done. He's just waiting now. Yeah, I think so. What's up, guys? Long time no speak. Tails looks amazing. Not only do I think we will see Ahsoka purify crystals, but we might get the first bleeding a crystal with Dooku's turn to the dark side. Oh, dude, yes. Yes. Hell yeah. I hope. I hope. That, shit, that shit's exciting, bro. On the way we go. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Mm. Yeah. Enjoyed the behind the scenes of Kenobi way more than the show. Interesting. Okay. The change of leadership at 343 after the recent feedback from fans gives me what? I don't know exactly what he's referring to here, but the leadership did change. But I think the homie had to step down premature or early because oh, of family oh, stuff. Uh, about? For 343, he's talking about Halo. Halo's oh. in the shitter right now. Oh, but is it? They might be turned. Dude, it's so bad. What happened? <sighs> How Why? much time? How much time you got? Um, no, it's just been a mess, dude. Halo Infinite is a garbage ass game. I mean, the thing that's crazy is like the gameplay is clean, like the gameplay is actually butter, but it's supposed to be a live service game. It's horrible, no co op, still no forge, no battle royale. Game like, I'm confused. No, nah, there's so they're just supposed to be, it's supposed to be updated by now. I think th yeah, it's just really bad. Like, many people have checked out, people are furious. So, mm. we got the new COD coming out. Yeah, Warzone 2. I'm gonna give it a try, dude. I'm gonna. Be addicted to that. If it's good, I will. I'm gonna if be playing good. that, covering Tales of the Jedi, and playing Thor. Uh, sorry, uh, God, God of War, Ragnarok, mm. nonstop. Believe that. Yeah, that'll be Believe cool. That. I, hope Star, I hope Star Wars, uh, Star Sid, is it Starfield? Yeah, Starfield. I hope Starfield comes out and is really clean too. I'm excited. Was it coming out? It's supposed to be the f end of this year, I believe. Oh. Mm hmm. Hello, gentlemen. So it looks like the Tales of the Jedi will be six episodes, two Jedi stories. Wait, what does it sound like if I have a freakier voice? <laughs> six episodes, two Jedi stories. <laughs> Which nice. two would you like to see in season two? <laughs> Damn. 
Uh, Real Avaros, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, no, we won't see him. I want it though. Come on, man. You could well. Qui Gon's gonna be older. Then. Well, no, they could just go back, keep going back for Tales of the Jedi season two. Give us a little Real Avaros, and give us a little yeah, Ala Sakura. Oh, you want a little, hey, a little Ayla. You know what I mean? A little Ayla. Sup, Ayla. Bounce the wham wham. Yeah, yeah. The Ayla Secura. Embrace the dark side. <laughs> uh, Look, a baby figured out hey, how to super chat. That's wild. Hat. That's cute. Since 2018, first Super Chat, toddler, trucker hats. Son loves Clone Wars 24 with three kids. Damn, you've been busy. Nice. One on the way. There are four <laughs> kids. God bless him. May the force be with you. Dude, he's, uh, he's got you beat. He's got you beat by oh, 10 yeah. years mm-hmm. and three extra kids. Yeah, man. He's putting in that work. You're losing. Big time. We'll have to get a little army going. Lost. Yeah. 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 Or maybe we'll just clone Liam a bunch of times. I don't know. We'll see. Somehow Cleam, Liam returned. Cleam. I know, right? Cleam, yeah. that'll be the next one. That's cool. Thanks, Nick. That's, that's I've never seen my hat on a baby before. That's amazing. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It is. Andor is going to be great because they finally hired someone competent, extended the story instead of squeezing it into a BS six episode season and gave it a solid budget. Grounded, gritty, no Jedi. Dude, you had me right up until you said no Jedi. I want Jedi. Yeah, I want Jedi. There's no yeah, Star Wars if the no Jedi. I agree, but everything else you said is true and fair. Uh, I made a super chat last last sec during your live stream right before you left last week. This is my question. If you had a Predator Mandalorian foundling, what would it be like? It would be vicious and very badass. Rip your head off. Super badass, I think. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Theory the Canada 66 hat still isn't available. Really? Dang, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Well, it's over now. <laughs> it was available. Boom! People purchased it. Everybody's oh. pissed. Yeah. Oh. Is it just me, or does it feel like Disney is moving away from the Jedi and the Force in the big budget shows? I don't know about that. I mean, Ahsoka's going to have lots yeah, of that. Jedi. Accolade is very Jedi and Sith based, so I don't, I don't know if I agree. It just might be that they have several in a row that feel that way. I gotta let these dogs out, dude. They're, They're whining, and annoying I can me. Hear them, man. I always thought it was my dog. I'm like, she never cries. What's wrong? Spending right. my 33rd with the boys and watching Nerd Theory Pet Best EOD podcast, I guess. Just watched a Sam Witwer going over why he loves Reva. Very convincing. What? Hell no. Nah. This ain't true. That's Cap, dude. Cap. Cap. Wait, did he just, did he actually just go over? Did he make a no video? No way. No way. But hey, if he likes her, good for him. Is it on his Twitch? this I'm going it's in. treason then i'm going in dude is it the latest one how do you even do i don't even know how to work twitch there should be just look for it on youtube maybe somebody clipped it i don't damn he plays a lot of hitman does he Oh, cool. Never played. Force Unleashed. That's dope. I never played uh, any of the Hitman games. Wow. Imagine playing your own game. Yeah, right? That'd be pretty hyped. Well, Doc was playing uh, NBA 2K because they put him in the game. <laughs> and so, like, he was playing as himself uh, last week. It was pretty funny. Why would they put him in the game? That's funny. They Because they just love the two-time. I, I thought EA doesn't like him. Oh, hell no. They don't like him. A lot of people don't like him because he talks shit on their games. But the 2K team was just like, nah, man, we like this guy. So... Yeah. 2K EA? I actually don't think it is. What? I don't think so. Hold on. 2K. I'm pretty sure it's EA. Get out of here. Wait. Is it not? I don't think so, man. 
chat is is 2k not 2k is itself i think so really i guess i'm gonna be getting mm. 2k then yeah 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 okay that's how it's actually pronounced like that okay okay yep captain's log it is captain's log <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's it going, guys? Much love. Congrats, Josh, on the new baby. Also love the Arabic tattoo theory. Thank you for the love, man. It's very sweet. I like that drawing. Your art doesn't suck. Uh, the Acolyte leaks, leaks are not real, I don't think. The leaker is 15 years old and makes a Soka thirst trap edits in TikTok. No way he has info. What are you talking about, Willis? I don't even believe that. What? I don't even believe that. And... Even if that's true, shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Accolade leaks are not real, I don't think. Well, that's where you failed. The leaker is 15 years old and makes Ahsoka thirst trap edits in TikTok. No way he has info. Maybe he's, maybe that's just his, maybe this is what he wants you to think. I don't. What? That's the first time I'm hearing that about that person. I don't think anybody knew who that leaker was. So I don't know what this guy's talking about. Yeah, where can we find thirst traps? Uh, you and Josh have been such a blessing in my life. I listen to you guys on Spotify all the time, so keep that side up. God bless you and chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dang, Josh, you have a kid and stop banging the homies? Smack my head. You think you know a guy. I know, man. Look. I said shake my head. Just... Smack my head? Oh, no, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smacking your own head, dog? Uh, but yeah, look. Sometimes life takes us in different directions. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I can't be all these places at once. I can't do all these things for all these people. So you know, until we bang again, homie. How can you do this? All right. <laughs> it needs to be a true storyteller. That it. No personal political agenda. Give what the fans want and love. Stop abusing legendary character. Ah, eh, they ain't gonna listen. They ain't gonna listen. They ain't gonna listen. They do. Ever. Hey, I still have hope that they could. Yeah. New new leadership. They'll listen once their shit drops so much that they're not making much money anymore, and then they'll be like. What did we do wrong? What's going on? What's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never know, man. I mean, and you can see a thing where they'll say it's because everyone's racist, and then they'll that's say the thing though. Like how, that shit ain't gonna fly. Racist. Like if they eventually that that train has to come into the station. So I think there will be a it point will. of shift. You know, it will. They they can only use that for so long. Right. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the sequel trilogy because you're sexist and racist. No, I don't like the sequel trilogy because it sucks. Because it sucks. There's just as much diversity in the original trilogy and prequel. They have aliens. They have a whole different species. You can't use that forever. It's going to run out. I agree. Anyways. I agree with these poopy buttholes. What's up, guys? Two things. One, how was your day? Why didn't Count Dooku have yellow eyes as a Sith? What's up, Jackson? Okay. So Dooku didn't have eyes as a Sith because he wasn't fully a bad dude. He wasn't fully entrenched in the dark side. Mm. Now, there was one time, I think it was one of the only times, that he had yellow eyes. And it was very brief. It was during the Clone Wars. It was when he was training our boy Savage Press. Interesting. That was really the only time. So he taps into it a little bit more for some reason? I think so. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, maybe, you know, Dave just thought it looked cool, but he doesn't really ever have Sith eyes because he's not really a bad guy. He's a political idealist. Like he mm. thinks things should be different. Like he, he thinks the Jedi are evil from his point That's, of view. Yeah, literally. He's like, well, in that sense, you know, if you look at it that way, then like the Jedi should have Sith eyes. He's probably asking, why don't the Jedi have like, I think he also views Palpatine as 
the inevitable winner and he just he sees that he will take over um he, he and so i think he yeah i think he wants to be on that side of things so <laughs> yeah yeah What's your favorite scary movie? I don't really like scary movies, but I'd say The Shining probably. Love scary movies. But my favorite would probably be. I'll tell you one I won't watch ever again because it was just that disturbing for me. Hmm. Sinister. Never heard of it. I never heard of it. I'll tell you a movie that's, that's a good thing. That's wild is if you've ever seen Antichrist by Lars von Trier. I guess it's technically a horror movie. Um, that's a, that's a not, fucked up movie, dude. Not, yeah. It's a crazy movie. Chat. Anyone seen Sinister? This is why I never super, super chat. It was missed. No, we're going in order. Going in order. You gotta understand. We talk for like an hour to two hours sometimes. And then we read super chats from the very beginning. Sometimes even before the stream even happened, people send super chats in. So mm -hmm. our stuff is like an hour behind right now. Mm -hmm. So we we'll get to it. Like they're they're all in order. We're going. And I mean, if I missed one, then that's <laughs> that's how it's meant to be, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, we just we go through everything. That's why we we spend time to actually read you guys' stuff. We don't just say thanks for the money, cheese, cheese. See you later. Thanks for the money. Now get out of my face. <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna read it. No, man. We we sometimes sit here for like, what was our longest nerd theory? Like seven hours. Oh, I think we did like, yeah, I think we did close to seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wiped nice. my butt. Amen, dude. Nice, good nice. for you. That's good. Gotta watch that, dude. Yeah. Hey, Josh and Theory. I'm excited for Tale of the Jedi, Bad Batch season two, and or Mando season three. I feel it won't be the same without Kara slash Gina, but I look forward to new adventures of Mando, Baby Yoda, uh, Mando verse. Bo looks dope. How about you? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, li I think I like all that kind of stuff. I think that um, I hope they play up that Bo Mando stuff, and I hope they fight. I hope it's real cool. Yeah, I'm excited for. Why is this? It's, it's like all, I'm always off frame. I just feel like every time I sit, it just like shifts this way. It's like a ghost. Like, hmm. Is there a ghost back there? I don't know, bro. He can. What's the temperature? Does the temperature drop really a lot right. in the room? Uh, was this house built on an Indian reservation? These are the questions, dude. No. Hmm. Wouldn't have purchased it. Hmm. Did your dog randomly bark at that part of the house? No. You got a ghost, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, we're excited for all that stuff too. Uh, I, you know, but still with all these projects, I'm not like as I was for Kenobi, you know, so I'm, I'm waiting for the next project that they're going to release that, that I'm going to be like, ah, I think mm. probably the one that maybe pulls on the most heartstrings for me would be Tales of the Jedi and Ahsoka. Yeah, I'd say for me, Ahsoka is... I have very, very high hopes for that. But Mando 3 as well. I think that's going to be really cool. So Mando 3 as well, yeah. Um, it's just been too long. They had too long of a gap. I agree. Two years? Come I on. think it was such a... I think that was so boneheaded. Especially no. to do what? Book of Boba Fett? Get out of here, dude. Should have yeah, just made the next season. Right. Yeah. Just ruined them. Again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? Tom Brady with a W. Also hype for Tales. What's up, yeah, how about that, Tom Brady, man? How about that, Tom Brady? He just won't ever stop. Bubba, oh, Bump Boba 2, Bump Kenobi 2. I mean, yeah, they can't get worse, but who wants that as a metric of success in Star Wars? I'm okay with it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. You're speaking facts. Speaking facts. Yep. <laughs> nice. If you want to feel dead inside, then go watch Food Fight. Legend has it, it's the film that drove Charlie Sheen insane. I don't want to feel dead inside. No, so, nah. I don't feel dead inside. I already am dead yeah. inside. But you know what's funny? is my One of my favorite movies ever that everybody thinks I just made the word up. But Schenectady, New York is actually a super depressing movie that leaves me feeling so happy. I don't know why. Every time I watch it, I just I feel so happy. Great. Thanks. It's really weird. 
just finished Hot D, starting to think the actor who plays Sir Kristen Cole could should play Ezio in actually good Assassin's Creed. Hey, did you know Netflix is making Assassin's Creed show? Heard about that, yeah. It's a tall order. Let's just call Disney IOI from now on. We should. What if Disney is so spiteful and, that when they and, see fans make great stuff, they will do the exact opposite? Well, then they uh, just won't make any money. Oh, what, God damn, what was his name? What, the main dude? Yeah. No. No, the one who passed. He's George. Oh, the yeah, the, the main guy. Yeah, yeah, the main guy that made the Why Oasis. Am I, I mean, I don't remember either. Cool, cool dude, though. Pretty dude. sure, dude. He's got like kind of a funny name. Chat. Yeah, chat. Help us out, man. Morrow. Uh, Morrow. No, that was his buddy. It was not Jeff Bridges. No, that's Tron, dude. You're on the wrong <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hall Halloway, I think. Hall Hallowed, Halliday. Halliday, yeah. Halliday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it Halloway? I don't remember. Hall of something. Thanos. Yeah. Hall bro. After Top Gun Maverick, how is Disney not fast tracking Rogue Squadron? Because Kathy can't get along with Patty Jenkins. Is that That's what it why? is? I think so, yeah. Whatever. Just wash your hands. What up, Darth Beard? Clones mean a Beard. lot to so many. I know, right? Uh, in your thoughts, why has the community stuck to clones the way we have? There's so many reasons. Much love. Something, something, Ahsoka Luke. Nice. Uh, I think, honestly, it's, it's all about the Clone Wars show. The Clone Wars took some people that were just very standard, didn't really have much to do, and flesh them out in an absolutely incredible way. So it's all because of Clone Wars, I think. I think because clones are like us, you know, they're the working, they're the workhorse. You know, they are the the white collar. They are the ones that make things happen. They are us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we are not the higher ups. We are not the ones in power. We are not the. Uh, the super rich and blah blah blah. We are the ones that work from the ground up, and uh, we are the plebs, so to speak. But without us, the cog in the machine will not work. The factories will stop. Yeah, we are the ones who make the world go round. True. Who, who wins, Seattle or real Poof? Who is that, bro? Have you seen Real Poof's neck? I mean, you just like. I, I have not. I don't even know what that is. Real but it's Yaddle all day. Q-tip looking dude. Oh, that dude looks awesome. Not Yaddle. Yeah, tear him up. Bro, Yaddle would make no. The real yep. poof. F her up, dude. He, he's got like a Q-tip for a head. He would just like. Yeah, it's really easy to cut that head up. Hell no, man. He's Slice and dice. Oh. What happened to the pup? Oh, he's got like a weird thing with his eye. He's fine, but they have to basically go in there and take out some fat. Uh around his eye because he has like this abnormal thing where his eye is when he shuts it it's folding inside so his fur and everything is like just constantly rubbing up against his oh. eye and so yeah it's not good okay how much is that going to cost uh, i don't know four or five hundred bucks oh yeah it's like a, it's kind of a minor one so oh so you're like four or five grand no no that would be wild no it's pretty it's pretty minor surgery they just go in there Suck some of the fat out and stitch him back up. So, have you seen Star Wars on Vice TV? No. What the hell is that? I don't. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Maybe they have a marathon going on. Oh, okay. Good morning from Sweden. Do you guys know that the Skarsgård person in Andor is from my country, and he's the father for the Pennywise actor? Yeah. Ooh. No. Okay, I didn't know he was the father of the Pennywise okay. actor, but yeah, I knew he was. Uh, yeah, I knew all that. He's he's awesome, dude. He's great. Yes. Yes. It shall be cool to see him do his thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good Vader and Kenobi. 
together solo the Avengers? Hell no, nah, dog. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Yes. Hell no. Nah. Man, you're a shill. <laughs> Definitely. You're a Marvel shill. Definitely, dude. I'm gonna go get Mar I'm gonna go put a Marvel hat on. Believe that. Probably a Kevin Feige hat. Probably just KF. Yeah, man. Why not? With two old nuts hanging down. Mm. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I do love me some Kevin Feige. Uh, one is that, so. Did you mean? Did you mean to put in here GSP versus Khabib? Because that's like that's a weird rumor. I don't know if that'll ever come to that fruition. Besides, Khabib is fat as fuck these days. To be honest with you, so who cares? <sighs> what do we do when the fans become a huge corporation run by dumb schmuck and just complain, 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 rinse and repeat? We already have the path. He's dumb schmuck. Is it a person? Is it, he's just saying dumb no. Dumb. He's just saying like what happens when the the person that was meant to destroy the Sith uh, joins them. Then what happened? It might, it might. Imagine John Boyega dominating in the MCU now after Star Wars. That would be sick. Yeah, I feel like That'd he'd have. Sick. Yeah. Hopefully they treat him good. True set, Bakura is the first post Return of the Jedi novel in Legends. Can it takes place the day after the Death Star explosion? The Royal Fleet is still in orbit over Endor and all. That sounds fun. Sounds pretty chill. Hey, Theory, been a fan for years. I love all your content. Keep it up. Thanks, dude. Uh, I wish we got Force Unleashed 3 so bad. Hoping they at least make a show with Sam. I just, yeah, you know, dude, like, I would be the first to sign up for that and the first to be in line. I just don't think that they would ever do it because of how powerful Starkiller is. It would just... Dax. Yeah, and he's a male, so... And he's see. white. And he's white. It's a big no-go. So for it's a Disney? non-starter. Yeah, Hell no, way. no, dude. Hell no. Like, so, no. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Never. So. Probably actually legitimately won't happen, though. So. <laughs> what? Good game, though. Great yeah, game. good game. Great yeah. games, dude. Those were super exciting. Modern, modern day writers are more interested in activism instead of character development. If they made a Jon Stewart Green Lantern movie, they would focus on the troubles of being black instead of his heroic traits that we love. Yeah, maybe some of that for sure. I think uh, it, all of these things should exist in a in a balance. I mean, but yeah. I actually hope that they make a, a Green Lantern, another Green Lantern movie. Well, they just made an animated uh, movie with him, actually, and I thought it was really cool. John Stewart's a cool character, so. Maybe animated is the way to go, you know, going forwards with everything. There's some good animated stuff, dude, you know, and I tell you what anime in general killing it dude can't wait for this bleach uh this japanese dude yeah they just get it just and they don't they don't play story. that shit they just tell yeah. good story. they don't play stupid games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they just play the story the way it's meant to be played agreed i know it's like, crazy no they're just telling a story like that's that's all you got cool characters and that's it mm -hmm. there's a plot there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Imagine these that. These characters have evolutions. Like, they have dude, character arts. What's up, lot, bro? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Fans are just racist and sexist and toxic if they don't like something. So, Hey, Theory, would you say you're more excited for Bad Batch Season 2? Do you think it'll be better than Season 1? Yeah. I, myself, am super hyped. Bad, Bad, Bad Batch has been my fave series. I, dude, I like the Bad Batch. I thought it could have ended a little bit more exciting. But definitely. there are a lot of cliffhangers to go off of. So I yeah. think it's going to be cool. I think season two will definitely be much more interesting because we don't have to introduce so many of the main characters anymore. You know? Definitely, dude. So we're ready 100%. to roll. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. No, I think I think it's going to be much better. And the tease at the end with Mount Tantus and stuff, it's very exciting. So, yeah. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. Yeah, I agree with this. Superhero was a really good plot, but they really don't execute it well, and they ruin the main villain by making him big. Big characters are always lame. Keep them normal-sized, and fights are better. I agree. 
Yeah, that was it was kind of weird. Like the cell max was just a wave to get just going and go damn. nuts. Yeah, he wasn't that cool. Damn, dude. Freddy Krueger versus Josh. Am I asleep or not? Nah, you're awake. You drink too much coffee. Probably. I'm actually probably the arch enemy of him. Because all I do is drink coffee. She should never sleep. He's like, God damn it. When's yeah, that right? Josh going to fall asleep? Even in my sleep, I'm so jacked up on caffeine. I'm probably like, <laughs> float like a butterfly sting like a bee, motherfucker. Mm. Day number 8042. <laughs> Josh to fall asleep. Yo, those movies did freak me out, though, when I was young, man. Bro, I didn't even... I, I didn't watch them till way later. I just saw them in some, like, YTV horror special. Mm -hmm. And I was shit scared of Freddy Krueger. They're scary, just dude. That. Well, because dreaming is, like, such a... You feel so... You're, like, out of control and helpless, and... You know what I mean? Dude, I would... Yeah. <laughs> scary. It's scary! I would sleep, and I would not move. Like I would yeah. literally I'd just like stay awake, but I would just not move because I felt like they were like a T-Rex where if I moved that they would see me. And I would Damn. there would literally be like sweat like dripping <laughs> my face as a kid. I would just be hours on end. I would just be not moving. I'm just like Damn. If I don't move, they won't see me. Damn. Thoughts are powerful, man, if you believe them. Yes. Thoughts are very powerful. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and you grow up and you get therapy and you realize, yeah, thoughts uh, don't really mean shit. Yeah, unfortunately, the perception is reality. Uh, the Shepherd of Fire says, while you guys were busy being late, I asked Chad if I could just skip season one of the Clone Wars because I'm sorry, but it's so boring. Yeah, it kind of picks up later. Uh, can you all just describe it to me? I'm on episode five. Just skip it. <sighs> yeah, just skip it. Go to the next one. It, bro. They were just kind of finding their feet with that show in the first season. Yeah. It it's just a little cool so with Yoda better. and everything, you know, but eh, you don't need it. It's not even in perfect time, right? I think they jump around in the time. Yeah, they jump around. You don't need it. So, guys, I'm very excited for Tales of the Jedi. Do you think we should get mostly animated Clone Wars style on shows and live action in theaters? Nah. But I'm excited for it. But I don't think that solves anything. Uh -huh. Just do better live action stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'd be down for Clone Wars, Anakin, and Obi-Wan. Live yeah. action. Aiden and Ewan. Oh, yeah. For sure. More of that stuff's fun. Proper deep fake this time, you know? Mm-hmm. Shout out from Lake... Elsinore, California, Irvine special. Oh, cool, man. What's up? Cool. I'm going to visit y'all at Irvine again. Yeah. To... Do, it. To... do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. The apprentice. By your choice shall ye be judged. If you were raised in the temple and you lost your master with Sith, go light or go dark or go Windu Jin halfway. Uh, dude, I'd probably go dark, to be honest. You raised in the temple and lost your master to a Sith. Go light or dark. Go Windu Jin halfway. Uh, I'd go dark, but I'd probably just pull myself out of it a little bit. If I could. I'd go dark, but I'd also go after the Sith still. Like I wouldn't oh, like, like just Hulk. join the Sith. It's like the Hulk, dude. He gets angry. He breaks a bunch of shit, but then he goes back to Bruce Banner. He comes to his senses. Yeah. Unless he's Professor Hulk, which is just emasculated completely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I'm useless now. I'd probably go to the dark side. Is he ever gonna come back, dude? Or is he oh yeah, for boring sure. Boring ass, like. No, 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 no. I think they're. I've heard they've got some really crazy plans for Hulk. So I think that he's gonna. Cool, that, that dude. That why? Why the Hulk was cool? Mm -hmm. Just like this rampant, rage-filled buffoon. Jack, yeah, dude. Yeah, I like okay. Ragnarok. Ragnarok's probably the best uh, version of Hulk that we've gotten so far, and I want to see them go back to that. But the thing is, I think they have to. Like, if he's going back to Skakar, right, and his son's there, well, guess what? That's not really Bruce's son. That's not really Professor Hulk's son. That's Hulk's son when he was actually Hulk. So in order to actually have that shit go down, I think Bruce will have to relinquish back to Hulk. You know what I mean? So uh, that's kind of, I think, what will be the catalyst for that. But yeah, I think I think Hulk's going to go savage again. And what's the deal with Hulk losing against Thanos in a fist fight, man? He went through so much shit. Oh, and the no, other Hulk is as hard as nails. Thanos is just hard as nails. And the Hulk's not trained. Now, the only thing about that scene is that, like, Hulk should have essentially just gotten more and more angry and then yeah. became more powerful. But I think Thanos had the power stone at that point, right? Yeah. All right. Well, then, yeah, it's just pretty much game over 
but he wasn't using it. Uh, yeah, I don't think he specifically uses the ability, but it should still give him such just a upfront boost that. Punch. I mean, dude, and Thanos is a badass. Like, that's the thing is, even without any of the stones, Thanos versus Hulk would probably be a good fight, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, Hulk, and we've never really seen Hulk at like peak shit. Rage. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, dude, he can get so powerful. We just have never really seen him do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Confusing. Mm-hmm. Just like nerfed his ass. Yeah. It's kind of wild that he's he still stage fright. Hulk, but... Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, like, I think that makes me more angry than what they did to Luke. Because it's like this is a character that's supposed to be right. literally the epitome of rage. Well, I would just say that in comics, this is pretty common, like for him to go back and forth between these different things. Like there have been times where he's Professor Hulk. In fact, there's this really weird time where he does that and then goes to he like goes to California and he just becomes this dude named Joe Fix It. And he's literally just a handyman. That's and he's just like hiding out as like this handyman thing guy. So like I think comics is a thing where they deviate and then they come back to form. Like I can't tell you the amount of times that Cap has not been Cap and then he comes back and he's Cap, right? Tony's gone, Tony's back. You know, like Hulk is doing something, Hulk is back. Like that's just kind of comics. Um, but yeah, no, I mean obviously I want him to come back too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be strong. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think we'll see a fight between Dooku and Windu and Tails of the Jet. That'd be wild. That'd be super fun. So, hope so. Is it possible that Din is still alive, running around with Grogu when Luke commits suicide? Yeah, probably. I mean, uh, Din would be pretty well, old. Three but... years, bro. He's like an old ass. He could be old. He could be an old man. I guess so. How? <laughs> That'd be fun. I look forward to the new content, but no longer trust Lucasfilm. Why would you give Andor a bigger budget than the show that involves literally the main character of Star Wars? Good question, my man. Yeah, it's a good question. You're asking the right questions. Yes, you're asking the right questions. And don't we don't know. have... Look, I don't have an answer for you. Okay? I don't know how to make that pain go away. So. I don't think the system works. Yeah. But look, we got some cool projects going forwards, and, you know, I'm excited for them. Mm-hmm. Seated. Hey, guys. I had a question. What's up, D3V? Did Anakin Vader deep down feel any thankfulness for Obi-Wan watching over his kids? Like a small respect? Maybe, like, right before he Maybe. died. Yeah. But not during it, no. Dooku versus Luke. Lightsaber combat. Dooku all day. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Dylan says, if you had to consider the new canon Thrawn novels as the basis for how Thrawn should act, would you say that Dave Filoni messed up with Thrawn and Rebels with how far and violent he is willing to go? No, I don't think it necessarily messed up. And Thrawn is really only like that at the end of Rebels. He's like pretty calm and collected. And then at the end of Rebels, he's a little unhinged. Um, I don't think he messed up. It's just kind of a different vibe. I expect Thrawn to be back to form, you know, and back to his regular self. The thing is that Ezra is a character that is impossible to, like if you've ever tried to use game theory on somebody when you're playing like poker or a video game and they just completely ignore it. And like, for instance, like go all in with like some ridiculous ass hand and then they get lucky. That's like Ezra. Ezra is not using logic. He's like using feel. And so it's very hard for a character like Thrawn who uses so much logic and reason to come to conclusions to anticipate what Ezra will do. So. Enjoying the stream. Listen while I dash. Right on, brother. Make that money. Make that money. Cool. Drive safe. And playing the Galactic Contention mod for the game Squad, most gritty and intense Star Wars mod I've seen. Whoa, okay. I don't really know too much about that, but maybe I'll look it up. Sounds cool. No, we didn't. No, we did it, Nick W. Hey, what was it? What was it then? If we keep saying, yeah, what was it? What was Nick? it, Nick? Yeah, tell us, Nick. Nick, 
Nick. Hey, what was it, Nick? Sheesh. Yeah, Nick. Oh, shit, we did. <laughs> the sixth brother versus Ahsoka, both students of Vader. Man, for $2 and you're, you're pissing your pants over that? <laughs> it's kind of funny. My man was like, I spent the two dollars, which probably I like, spent the two dollars that I found in the cushion. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> and if you don't go back and figure out that two dollars, I will be forever out. scorned. I will cancel you, you uh well look. <laughs> look, he says in all caps, yeah, I never super chat. Yeah, we can tell, bro. Yeah, we can tell. We're if just you kidding, ask, Nick, if you have to ask, you can't afford it, Nick. Hot damn. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> Sixth brother versus Ahsoka, both students of Vader. Yeah, I guess they are. Yeah. Bro, Ahsoka would cut him up. Yeah. I wouldn't really say his sixth brother is a student of Vader compared to Ahsoka. I wonder if that's true. None of us will be as excited for Ahsoka than Luke. Yay, my man. Yeah, for sure, man. No accolade details. No Ahsoka show details. No update on like 10 of the games they promised. No Bad Badge season 2 details other than a delay. No movie details. You said that already. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, no, you didn't. Uh, Big L for Star Wars at D23. Sprinkle on ice cream. So. I think sprinkles, sprinkles on ice cream, ice cream can be cream decent. Dope. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it can be dope. It's good. Do you think Mace Windu and Dooku will duel in Tales of the Jedi? I think they might. I think they might. They might do patty cakes, though, instead. Patty cake, patty cake. He's a political idealist, not a murderer. Thank you guys for always trying to get super chats. Thanks, D Man. Thank you, D Man. D Man. Holy shit, finally. God damn it. God. Not getting (laughs) bitched at 24 7 for $2. Yeah. Which 30% is taken by YouTube. So, really, that gives us what? I don't know, like 50 cents. Think about it. Taxes, government, everybody just chill. We're paying you at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Jeez. Shit. Yo, McDonald's Sprite is pretty good. Eh. Fair point. Uh, I must I must ask you a question, here and Josh. Two great force masters. I <laughs> Yeah, well done. Well done. That is definitely a trial by fire. Yeah, at there. least this is like ten bucks. <laughs> Even though it's bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like power washing. You know what I mean? I pee laser to poop spec off my toilet today. That took three days to get off. Have I passed my trials? My all that is a man. You are wise and strong. I foresee you become a power. You know, these are the kind of subscribers that I dream for. Yeah. You know, this is... um, It's good shit. Yeah. It is. I'm really proud of you. And um, thank you for joining the stream. Well done. I can't watch anymore. <laughs> Change my channel name from Theories Written in Stone, leaving the Theory name to the real OG. Apologize, Theory. Love you, boys. Okay. Oh, dude, thanks. I don't mind. I don't own the. Uh, the word theory, you know. So, there's actually a channel called Star Wars Theory 2.0. <laughs> what really? Yeah, it ain't me. That's funny. It's literally called Star Wars Theory. Yeah, whatever. You know. Um. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, no worries, man. In, in, enjoy whatever name you want to put. Hmm. What would you think about a Sith version of Tales of the Jedi? Could do. That would be amazing. That would be fun. That'd be great. 100%. Now you now you're giving the good ideas. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's part of true. Uh, I get that Ahsoka's show may have Thrawn, but after reading all his ascendancy books, I'm disappointed they don't do a show slash movie based around that. Yeah. I mean, maybe we're getting a lot more Thrawn. Maybe this is just the entry into this character in live action. I don't know. 
Couldn't tell you. And there's something wrong with my wrist. This is as far as I can bend it back. <laughs> That's not good. But That's didn't you say you had like an old injury from like running down? Yeah, I just noticed like today. This is as far as I can go back. That's so I was looking at my hand. And I'm like, oh, it's still swollen. But I started doing weird movements with it. And I'm like, wait, why does this go for so much? Further? Like, this is as far as it goes. I'm li- <laughs> No, don't snap it. I wonder if that's it's that like a video game thing or something. <laughs> No, get carpal tunnel. Like that's as far as it goes. That's that's okay. At least kind of decent. But this is that's as far as I can take it. Oh, unless I push. Yeah, but don't snap your wrist on hurts. live. That would be wild. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think that's pretty much where wrists go, bro. I think you're good. No, dude, this is not where wrist wrists go. No, yeah, you're good. This, yeah, you're this? Good. that's good. Oh. No. That they look the same, more normal. No, they, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. They look no, pretty much the same. A much bigger angle, but this is no. where new theories going. This is important. <laughs> get out the protractors. You guys ever get a lot of pain in your wrist sometimes? Just like, like when you want to, you, like, you can't do this. I can't do push ups on my hands. I got to do my, my, my knuckles all the time because, uh, <laughs> everybody in chat saying that's normal, dude. That's You're that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you wild. Isn't it supposed to like go? No. <laughs> I guess they are kind of the same. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, really painful, okay? Yeah, well, that's different. If it hurts, then something else. Yeah, dude, know? it's like sharp pain. It's like, well, don't pain. be doing all that then. Well, I'm, I'm trying, trying to tweak it back. back. Holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Who definitely Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson? Turd Ferguson's a Which legend. And it's announced new. Oh, got him. Got him with the candy. Don't make me kill you. Yeah. Hey, congrats hey. on the baby, Josh. And while I'm not a fan of anime, that tattoo looks sick. But for Josh, I've been curious about something a little while now. Did you recently get a new camera or lighting set up? Yeah, I got a new camera a little while back. Are you just more handsome? Yeah, I just became more HD as a person. It's a cream. Apply it after the shower. And it'll jack up your pixels. So. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yo, that was wild. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Wars? Would you want to see in live action? <laughs> I said the last one, brother. The season seven was good. Uh, obviously, minus the Martinez sisters. Hey, screw the um, yeah, yeah, they weren't. Long as hell, weren't all that. She yeah, no, 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 the Star Wars comics, old ones look cool. Yeah, there's some cool ones. Cool old ones. The Jedi shit was cool. Doing your 30s ankles for me. Um, yeah. My ankles are okay. It's my wrists, bro. What's an anime series you think is extremely underrated? Hmm. Um Sailor Moon. I don't know. Sailor Moon is underrated. Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't Digimon. Digimon? Digimon is underrated. Yeah, Digimon's cool. Beyblade. <sighs> they made an anime for Beyblade, didn't they? I think so. I don't know. Yeah, you know what's an anime movie that not enough people have seen is the old Tekken movie. Not the new John that they did on Netflix. It's like, okay. But the old Tekken anime movie. Holy shit, dude. It's incredible. Very cool. I skip my member chat. Because we hate you. I don't like I hate you. Yeah. Can't wait so- for the... Tales of the Jedi Knight, and please do what if Dooku trained Annie and stayed in the order, please. Much love to you and Josh. It was literally right under Nick's, which I had missed too. So clearly something had happened there. Hmm. Well, you know, shit happens, bro. Maybe I just don't like you. Maybe I just hate you guys. Yeah. Maybe I just want to take your money and run. And they're mm. both. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Can you read my Miss Super Chat from two years ago? Dollars. Absolutely. Bro, the guys who pay the least amount of the mo Actually, Darth KSO is a member for 41 months, so I really shouldn't say shit. Damn, 41 months. That's a lot. Three, three years. Yeah. That's a lot. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Your art sucks. Darth Bane, Sidious, Plagueis, Malgus, Malik, Revan, Nihilus, Scion, Vader, Maul, Duke, Crate, Starkiller, Verse, all the Marvel heroes and villains who wins Marvel. Star Wars. Star Wars. No. Marvel! No. 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 Oh, you want to know what else, too? You want to know what else? Spider Man clears them. Just Spider Man clears them. What? Yep. No. Yes. No. Dude, how is that going to happen? Vader would just crush his hands. He'd be like, oh, I can't do it anymore. Oh. Spider-Man has so much strength. Vader wouldn't be able to do that. On top of that, because of his spider senses, he's going to be on par with their ability to sense through the force. Oh, just being okay. Crazy. And that webbing. I mean, what's Vader going to do when he's all webbed up? Cut through with his lightsaber? I don't know. Hell no, nah, fam. It's no, it's, you can't. Nope. Too sticky. Just gonna use the force to blast it off of him. Sticky icky. It's not, not that hard. It's so sticky. Should I feel guilt? My fave character is Palpatine. Yes. Yeah, you're horrible. You're like a very horrible person. That's I can't believe you like a cool character. <sighs> yeah. Yo, Leon! Hey, guys, sorry I didn't realize you were talking about Ready Player One Theory. How's your tattoo healing up? Asthma's still getting to you, too. I hate it, Josh. You don't say that. <laughs> you don't say that. Uh, I'm doing good, man. Uh, yeah, Ready Player One. How's your tattoo? Tattoo's healing up pretty good. My hand is still a little... Whole arm's still a little bit swollen, but um, for the most part, it it's looking pretty dope now. Nice. Yeah, dude. Looking good. Yeah. You're sick. Super cool. Yeah. Um, I'm just, this part bugs me. I, I like, I really want to finish it. Yeah. You think next year sometime, right? Yeah. yeah. Soon, dude. Metallica or Megadeth? Uh, Metallica. Yeah. Metallica. I, I really like Dave Mustaine too, though. The thing. So. Yeah. Honestly, not too familiar with Megadeth, but uh, yeah. It's because you're a little. Disney show. You're a little Disney show. You like Kevin Feige. Ah, listen to me. Marvel's so good. Marvel's so awesome. I love Marvel. <laughs> Marvel's great. Marvel is pretty good and awesome. You don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. But I do say that. No. Yup. Hey, guys. I've been wondering what GPUs you have. Um... I have the RTX 3090. Is that your processor? That's no, my GPU. Oh. It's my graphics card. Yeah, my graphics card is uh, Ryzen 7 5800. What? No. That's not your graphics card. That's your... Oh, no, that's my processor. Yeah. No, that's the... Let me see. Na, 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 na. How's it going, guys? That Star Wars project are you most excited for? So glad I got to catch you guys live on my birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Viagra. <laughs> nice. Happy birthday, bro. Oh, uh, I have an RX 6900. What? I have a Radeon RX 6900. Oh. It's pretty good. But that uh, PC company made me like a custom pc so it's pretty it's pretty deep seek just here to say i never said josh couldn't watch cobra kai while i was there right yeah right 
It's one of those things where she was like, no, I mean, you can watch it if you want. And yeah, we, we all, all know what that, that means. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It means, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's like good if I really wanted to be miserable for the next three days. Uh, Hulk going back to OG Hulk because no one likes him right now. I think that's true, actually. Is he? Is he going back? I didn't watch the last episode. Should I? Oh, pff, no. The last episode was trash. But uh, I think that by the end of the show, they'll definitely be setting him up coming back for sure. There's a lot of rumors about it. By more 15-year-olds making Ahsoka thirst traps on TikTok. Oh, God, let's go. Maybe it's me that does that. Drama Company says, what is the lack of Star Wars cinematic stuff is because they're building up shows for a very climactic Heir to the Empire trilogy. I'd be cool with 10-year gap for that. I would be too, but that's giving them a lot of credit, bro. Yeah, that makes no them sense. A lot of credit. Marvel did, man. Marvel had so many movies, and then they made dope-ass Infinity War and right. Endgame. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. no. That's giving them just a lot of credit. Yeah, I guess agree. Who would win the fight, Mace versus Dooku? Ooh, I think Mace takes him, dude. Uh, I think Dooku would take him. It'd be very good, a very good fight. Dooku would kick his bum hole. You think so? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think so. Yeah. It'd be wrong for Lucasfilm to follow in Marvel's footsteps and make an animated "What If." Also, Josh, Tobey Maguire in Secret Wars. I think so. I think Toby will come back for that. For sure. Toby will return. For sure. Somehow, Toby's returned. Yo, I gotta let these dogs back in because they won't shut their Ooh, mouth. Let the dogs in. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Disney clearly has some kind of agenda to promote emasculating men. Strong men make easy times. Easy times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. Hard times make strong men. Disney doesn't like us. They don't really care. Disney hates men. Wow, guys. Real cool. I guess just stay up. Josh can confirm Schenectady, New York, is a real place and a real word. But he got married there in spring, and it was the weirdest place I've ever seen. Oh, I know it's real. I know it's real. Everybody else thinks I made it up. You did. <laughs> yep, totally. To be down for a Star Wars What If show, just that's my channel. Yeah, I guess you, it's not good enough for you, Cody. Is that what you're trying to say here? You don't like uh, no. what theory does? <laughs> One guy said he smash it, smashes to your vid, so I had to try it out, and I must say, not bad. God bless your sensual voice. Well, at least I know if I don't make it on YouTube anymore someday, I got a back to plan. There you go. Right, Jackson Theriot. Uh, uh, Shelby. Looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. Thanks, man. If Disney makes Ahsoka and Luke fight for some reason and Luke loses, will it make you mad? No. Also, Joe Fixit dressed like a mobster at times and carried a Tommy gun. I know. It's a very hilarious character. No, no, no. I'm just giving you background music. Nice. Beautiful. Here's a 20 for not missing my super chats. You know we always got you, X. Thanks, X. We appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. Always got you, boy. That was a fat drop super chat. Fat, fat, fat. You think we'll get more flashbacks in Ahsoka showing her and Anakin in the Clone Wars? Also new to the group. What's up, Jackson? Welcome to the channel, the Chanel. Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to get a lot of flashbacks with Ahsoka showing her and Anakin during the Clone Wars, as well as Ahsoka probably talking to Anakin as a ghost. Yeah, that would be fun. I, I hope for both as well. I want it all. I want it all. Will we see Kenobi and Andor? No. Probably not. No, I don't think so. Walk, walk like, like a gorilla for six David. hours to fix the pain. You mean walk on my knuckles? Oh, yeah. No, try that, actually. Can't hurt. Nope. You forgot my super. Just kidding. LOL. But for real, people are just excited to see it read by you. Not about the money. Enjoy uh, Toonie <laughs> Timmy's on me. Nice. I know, I know. I'm just. I'm just kidding. I'm just being. I'm just being an asshole. Yeah, dude. Come on. Because I'm. I'm. It's just a fun change of character. It's yeah, and it's nice to. 
just be fun and have fun in the streams and troll everybody and I like to troll tell dude. people their art sucks and shit. You know what I mean? I don't like to take things too seriously and like I like people to clip things that like my my subscribers know is like a joke and then people being like he's so toxic he's horrible. I like that. <laughs> he's an idiot. Right on. What do you guys think assistant director Ronan's future will be? Huh? Maybe he'll appear in the Mandoverse, or maybe I on it. I don't know. I do know. Do you know? Huh? I don't know, man. I don't even know who that character is. Is that from the old books or the new books? From Thrawn Treason. It's from the new one. Hmm. I don't remember that character at all. Mm, me neither. Why did the Clone Wars make Dooku as pure evil when he isn't? I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't think they did. He definitely was on a sinister path doing things that he felt were necessary, but his mm -hmm. ultimate motivation didn't necessarily come from a super dark place. So some would say we're encouraged to love. Yeah, dude. How about that? My girlfriend and I love your podcast. My girl girlfriend got into Star Wars heavily this year and was the one who got me to start listening to you guys. Nice, dude. That's cool. Nice, it's fun to have things like that uh, yeah, to do awesome. together, you know? Yeah. Use cream to jack up, strengthen those wrists. What, yeah, dude? Exactly. <laughs> uh, Josh, you get a chlorine count on Liam. Uh, well, he came out levitating, so we knew it was pretty high already. You know. Can you read my missed super chat from two years ago? Yeah, Absolutely. I'll get I'll get right on it right away, bro. Absolutely, brother. We're doing one. Guys, I was apologize. I was only trying to get your attention. <laughs> I was thinking it so we could recognize. Yeah, we're joking. Dude, we're joking joke. with you, man. We're, Don't take it too personally. Yeah, dude, we do not take anything seriously here. Yeah, come on, man. It's called goofing. You never goofed. What's we up? We are that trolls. For you? Yeah, man. We are literally trolls. It's just a goof. Yeah. Shit. This is you right now, Nick. And you're sounding like a separatist. <laughs> thanks thanks for upping it up from two bucks to five for sure. <laughs> true true good point <laughs> maybe next time I make it a five we won't miss it all right <laughs> oh shit uh michael maid says i think that as much as disney dev has effed up they're at least trying to make it up by bringing luke at the end of season two mando boba with three to six obi-wan uh thought they nailed that thoughts i mean i think there is certainly attempt by some of them like it did feel like the luke thing like that they like that was really important to John and Dave, and I think they wanted to give fans something they really wanted, for sure. Um, but then again, they gave us Boba the way he was. Do you know what I mean? So like yeah. it's it's kind of hit or miss. But yeah, no, they. I don't think they want to ruin it. I don't even think Kathy wants to ruin it. I just think she's really out of touch. Oh yeah. So <laughs> they sit there and they're like, "How can we ruin Star Wars?" They just say, "How can we make Star Wars the best ever and in continuity with George Lucas's Star Wars?" And they write everything out in super detail. They take hours and months to figure that out, and then they just throw it all away and burn it. And they say, "Let's do the opposite of that." Yeah, it's weird. The I, I don't think there's a lot of consistency over there, and I don't think that Kathy is actually as consistent as a producer as people think. Like, I think from a technical perspective, she can line the ducks up, but as far as like, does this? line up with other things we've done do we have a cohesive brand vision like these kind of things i don't think she excels at that i also don't think she understands modern audiences so what's up what's up bro how are you how you doing p laser jokes aside i still can't get that dooku felt like he didn't give his stringent training he had deep true training to handle attachments was he born to the dark side? Are holocrons that bad? No, dude. I think the whole lesson no. is that everybody's susceptible to falling to the dark side. Like everybody. No, no. He he just was tired of the Jedi, man. He was tired of them constantly forcing more Jedi to die because of dumb politics of the Senate. And then he was like getting Jedi were ahead of getting their hands restricted by mm -hmm. the stupid Jedi Council who was like, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't fight like this. You can't use this power. You can't use that power. Because then they'll fall out of the dark. It's like, well, they just keep dying because you're like tying their hands behind their back all the time. Yeah. Oh, the Jedi Council makes me so mad. Yeah, they're kind of buttholes for sure. Yeah, ben says, 
I also concur with that person from earlier. People really need to calm down with super chats. There's obviously a flow to the show, and the supers are read later. People should patiently watch. Thank you guys for all that you do. Hey, appreciate awesome, it, man. man. Thanks, man. That's really Very nice. sweet. Yeah. yeah. And look, just remember this now forever. I thought the camera was over there. <laughs> uh, getting old, bro. Guys, about it. remember uh, to just everything we say is a joke here. We don't take anything. <laughs> we love you. And um, <laughs> hey, guys, welcome to Nerd Theory. Today, we're going to talk about <laughs> yeah, dude. Star Wars. And, um, we should have our back to the audience someday. Dude, next next just week, do a whole like emo show thing. where we're just yeah for like twenty minutes, just like full on. Oh, are we? Oh, they were the wrong. It's gonna be us. Jim Morrison did that. The first show that the Doors ever did, he turned his back on the audience because he was so shy. Anyway, hmm. well, if it works, if you were born, if you were born, you have a great birthday song by a band called Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire is pretty, pretty dope. Not. No, uh, I wasn't either. So, so there you go. What's your guys' favorite painters? Oh, I like Salvador Dali probably the most. I like that Renaissance shit too. So like, uh, you know, Da Vinci and all that. Da Vinci, Picasso made some weird shit, but it was Picasso uh, made some fun shit for sure. Wasn't to look at for some reason. Um, Rembrandt, Rembrandt did some really interesting paintings. Um, Bob Ross, dude, Bob Ross is the Bob G. Ross, my He's the real top G, the first one. I bought some weed today because the packaging had Yoda on it. Yeah, That's copyright infringement. Yeah, I need you to, uh, yeah, yeah. Disney. Holy shit, bro. We are coming for you, weed people. Okay, Disney is on the way. They're on the way. I let them know because you know I got that connection. Shill checks. Take a, uh, take a toke. <laughs> you owe us. Yep. A smoke. There you go. What up, nerd bros? On the way. <laughs> what is this? Way. Damn. Damn. This is, this is going somewhere. In a boat, maybe? No. T until you're broke? But we're going to take everything until you're broke. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. What's up, Nerd Bros? Uh, back. A lot of Star Wars yeah. news as well. Joining the ranks of Fatherhood on the 8th. I know you know how. I know. Whatever. Josh, I know, I know you know. Yes, it does feel great. Um, and it'll be I super cool when he's actually here. How you feel, Josh? Oh, I see. It'll be super cool when he's here. I hope everything goes well. Um, or, or he or she is here. Um, and once they're like out and about, man, it's just like a totally different thing. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I think I might get another dog. I think you were talking about that a while back, right? You were thinking about getting one. Yeah. Another one. I think Rain needs a friend. Yeah. Could be, man. Definitely could be. Certain breeds, I think, do really well with other German Shepherd. dogs. So. She really likes pit bulls. So maybe I'll get a pit bull. There you go. Pit, dude, pits are good dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Your thoughts on the abomination that is Rings of Power? I still haven't watched it. I mean, I think it's okay. Like, the first two were boring. I actually <gasps> liked episode three a little bit more. Sure. I know, You're right? Sure. I know. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep watching it. I hope it's better. It's not my personal cup of tea. Like, I prefer House of the Dragon, but yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's horrible. It's just boring. It's just kind of boring, bro. Like, that's my thing. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Maybe you should watch Cobra Kai like a real man. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Oh, now you want to come back in? Let yourself in? You want to say hi to everybody? Baby? Oh. Nah. Different baby. Come here. He's like, crawls in. Hey. Oh, yeah. Shit. What's <laughs> up, little baby? baby? No, What's just... up? <laughs> like, yo, Josh, you're, you're not, your baby looks different, bro. A little different, yeah. Your baby's got a big mouth. Hey, what are you doing with that? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> anyway. Uh, this is for the lads that want to super chat, but can't. We love you, Dad Theory. 
Thanks, man. Nice. Luke, you want to come on? Want everybody to see you and your messed up eye? Come here. Come here. No? Hey, Josh, I just wanted to reach out and say congrats on the baby. I've got a little girl, and it's changed my life in ways I never thought possible. Happy for y'all. Oh, Thanks, cool. man. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah, it's a nice journey. My girl watched She Hulk and no joke cringe so hard. She said, Well, I guess Andrew Tate was right all along. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I think some of the show is pretty rough. Some of it's pretty rough. It's hella rough, bro. Yeah. Josh, is the baby sleeping through the night or is he still up every three hours? Oh, he's still up every three hours. This morning, though, he ate, he had a bottle almost dead ass asleep. Like literally like dead ass asleep, but still eating somehow. Um yeah. So he's still he's still doing it every two, three hours. Uh, we got Chaza 7811 TBM says, Do I have to pay for my question to be answered? How many <laughs> times have I asked it now? Shall I just not chat then? Watch for years. Always in the comments on vids. Well, you didn't pay, so it's not gonna get answered. Not good enough. Uh, would love to see you guys unpacking some Star Wars CCG cards on stream. Oh, that would be fun. Uh, lots of George Lucas lore and deep cuts in those cards. Oh, okay. That's fun. Yeah, that's cool. Actually, I'd be down for that. You want to do that? Yeah. I mean, I'd be down, but where do you even get those things nowadays? I don't know. I don't know. I bet they're pricey, too, to get a box. Like, wow. an, like an unopened box is probably pretty pricey, dude. Yeah, yeah well... Maybe if people stop donating two dollars, we can afford it. <laughs> fair, fair <laughs> inflation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one to ten. What do you guys think of season five of Cobra Kai? So far, so good. I say so far, it's an eight I'm for not, me. I'm not rating it yet. I'm not rating it yet. I gotta rewatch. Oh uh, shit! Derry hates it, bro. Derry oh, is trying to come to terms. You, you sent it twice. You spammed it too. You hate it. You hate Cobra Kai. Chat theory. Hate it. Oh, hate actually. it. Like, yeah. Oh man, I can't share it. I mean, it was a cool idea, but I what? just I don't remember. No, you're bad at power scaling. Are you talking about your your Dragon Ball shit? No, my career. Yo, shit ain't oh, right. My your power, power scaling sucks. Oh, please. You'll never work in this town again, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never make it in this business. Ever. I'm sharing theory, my idea for the Vader show I told you about a couple of days ago on your stream. Thanks, Daddy. So he had no. a really interesting oh. idea. It would be a cooking show where Vader would use his own uh, mechanical body as like an easy bake oven and like replace the part of his chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put stuff in and out of it. And, you know, it was, hey. Great. Yeah. It was an interesting idea. I'll I'd give it to him. Boy like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Remember, you guys remember those creepy crawlers, creepy mm -hmm. crawlies, whatever that you'd make like a eat. It was like the boy version of the Easy Bake Oven, and you'd make like gross looking insects and shit. But like the girls got these like nice yummy cupcakes, and ours tasted like <laughs> you were gonna get like lead poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> you'd pour this like manufactured powder goop into this little centipede looking tray yeah. and you'd put it into the oven and it would just like shitty light would turn on it was like it would like heat it up and you know plastic remember tray that was in and then you're you're eating it you're like ah cool. do you know how wild kids are is that they make believe <laughs> that they're washing dishes and shit do you remember that like make believe washing dishes like that's how dumb kids are is like they just what they literally you don't you never did that when back in the day <laughs> like pretend wash dishes and stuff. I think your parents made you do some. No, 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 no. It was it was fake ass plastic shit. Like it's just like a Josh. I'm saying, get in the corner and pretend like you're washing the dishes. Practice for tonight. <laughs> no, it was a toy. We legitimately had it as a toy, and we had liked it. Boy, we thought it was dope. That's how dumb we were, dude. We didn't realize all this grown up shit sucks. I remember wanting to drive, man. And don't get me wrong, like I love driving, but like driving's a I mean, it's not something you do for fun. Driving is something you do to go to places, to talk to people that you don't really want to see. And <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you do. You have Lamborghini, so that's different. Well, no, even when I had like a regular car when I was like 20. Just drive, drive for fun. Driving's nice. I think there maybe was a couple of times that novelty wore off pretty fast for me. Maybe you're not a car guy. 
Hell no, nah, dude. A car, you're a real man. I want a full self-driving car so I can just keep playing my video oh, games, God. watching my YouTubes, drinking on beers, and having a good time. Hey, guys. Don't know if my membership went through, but if not, here's a 10. Did you guys get to see? See, Grand Edel Thrawn sent a super chat, but we may have skipped it. So Grand Admiral Thrawn sends another super chat and says, hey, you might have skipped it, but you know what? If if you did, here's another 10. And he's got one of your cool Thrawn shirts on in his picture. And he's got my Thrawn shirt. <laughs> Dude, this guy is a legend. And he's with Timothy Zahn. Pretty much an, uh, a legend here. Yeah, this is the this is the member. Look to your elder, folks. Do as he does. Did you guys get to see Rogue One in theaters to hype up Rogue One? Do you mean hype up Andor? No, you were doing so well, dude, and you just completely... Yeah, no, no, we're not giving movie. Disney extra money to go see a movie they already released. I don't need to go to a theater to get a preview. Just to put the preview in front of my face! Uh, but also, oh, appreciate it. Appreciate the 10. Yeah, I'm going to go watch uh, Rogue One on my TV, probably. Before it comes out. Rogue One's sick, though. Thanks, bro. Who has a more iconic voice theory or Morgan Freeman? Morgan it's probably Freeman. close. It's probably pretty close, actually. Morgan Freeman. Would you rather... <laughs> Martha's back. <laughs> no, <laughs> with the Ezra <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. CoStar's a background <laughs> really alien. Didn't you do this one before? 6 9 be the face of the next Star Wars trilogy? Definitely going to be 6 9 it's the face of the next Star Wars trilogy. Dude, why did Theory have to pee? Now I have to pee. Jesus! Why? What's up, chat? Now it's just you and me. Let's get intimate. Let's get personal. Let's talk about our feelings. Let's talk about uh, emotions. How are you guys? You know? How, how, how are your emotions? How, how, do, how do your feelings feel? Josh, marry me. That's going to be a no. Uh, you're looking pretty cute. Thank you. Do you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Okay. Getting freaky. Okay. You should leave. These freaking dogs. Uh, do I prefer crocodiles or alligators? Hmm. I gotta be honest. I don't remember the difference. Don't like crocodiles have more teeth or something? Is there like actually a noticeable difference? Uh, Josh, be my dad. Mm, not today. I'm sick today. Been throwing up. That is rough. Drink some Sprite and ch and chill out. How am I? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. It's been a long day, but a good day. Josh, do you like hentai? Uh, not not my favorite, not my thing. But you know, if you're into that, that's cool. What alligators are bigger? Is that the only difference? Baddest character in Star Wars? Ayla Secura. Probably Master Ayla. On. Okay, well, see, I got to do homework. See you, man. Yo, I gotta mm -hmm. now go to the bathroom. So All right, fine. I'll be right back. I'll lock it down. I got oh, hit yeah. with a baseball on my writ bone, and it bends the same as you, Theory. Nice. So we're both messed up. Puppies, come on. Do you think we will see? Do you think we oh, yeah. will she the ghost crew in Andor? Go, go, go. Uh, what the hell? sorcery is this um it's very possible yeah it would, would be a probably a fine show for it to show up tweeted the video of sam's opinion on reva to josh and it also is in the it is also in the chat starts at 7 10 while clip worth the watch after stream you guys are awesome well maybe we'll pop it up right now uh yeah is it on twitter well, I deleted Twitter, so. Nice that so some people get money to just throw in the dumpster. Yeah. 
I guess. Uh, this is for the Buttos. Relax. Thanks, T Man. Would you rather have Ezra Miller voice it? Here we go. Would you rather have Ezra Miller voice a sentient, salacious beaker? <laughs> or have Donald Trump play? <laughs> Bro, if Donald Trump played Grand Admiral Juan, the views would be pretty insane. You just imagine. Then, uh, Josh, oh, he's um, Josh, Josh, yes. Oh, yeah, I saw that tweet. Are oh, you want to pop it up? Do you want to watch it? Yeah, why not? Okay, you said around the seven. Is there music in it? Seven, ten. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll share this with the class. Share system audio. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And you and is fantastic. And yeah. And uh, I thought Reva's storyline was really satisfying. That, you know, like that after, after everything that she had been through, she felt like, okay, well, I have nothing else. What was I trained to do? What should I do? Oh, well, there's a sports sensitive kid. And I, I know I met a guy named Owen. I'm kind of like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to go either kill or capture that kid and bring him to the Inquisitors. Because that's all I know. Cycle of violence. Maybe I can get back in their good graces. Like that really twisted way of thinking. It's really, really sad. Um, you know, because the thing is, is that it's, should, would, would Reva had been, if she was successful in killing Vader, she would have just become the next Vader. That's just how this all works. Not like she would have been like, oh, I, I see, I did it, and I, I'm, I'm really secretly a Jedi, which maybe she, on some twisted level, thinks. No, you're not. You're not. You're not playing by those rules anymore. Yeah, the, and, you know, here's the other thing. You know, I know that some people are going to say, well... But Qui-Gon described to Yoda that his training was incomplete and therefore he could not manifest himself fully. Um, but as I've understood that type of thing, the, uh, it's more about the metaphor, you know? The Force Ghost thing has always been a, a two-handed effort. It's not just a ghost appears. It's also who's calling for that ghost or who's ready to hear that piece of information or that knowledge or receive that wisdom. You know, when Luke... Um, Can they and, hear it and, and everything? That, he's he's like a little quiet, people yeah? People become stronger in the Force. They see more. I think you're maybe breathing into the mic. They absorb more. At the end of A New Hope, Luke can hear a faint voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi. At the beginning of The Empire Strikes Back, he sees barely an image as he is growing in the Force. He sees barely the image of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, after he trains with Yoda, there's Obi-Wan. He's right there. And then by Return of the Jedi... He Obi Wan is so there that he could sit and have a cup of coffee with the guy, you know. That it's 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 as much Luke bringing him into that world, into the real world, as it is Obi Wan bringing himself there. And Luke can, you know, Obi Wan has always been there, but Luke can perceive him more and more and more as he gets stronger in the Force. So Obi Wan learning that what is the Force as far as Obi Wan Kenobi is concerned is its selflessness, it's helping other people. So as Obi Wan regains that part of him and opens himself up to to uh what he feels is his his purpose to help other people the force grows in strength with him and then obi and and the more he stays true to himself the more he is willing and ready to hear the uh wisdom of his mentor i love that stuff i don't think that's what george intended but I think he's what the hell is this game he's playing? Fill in the gaps pretty good. Yeah, the thing is, is you know, look, looks like st is uh, Star Siege from back in the day. You can make an argument for both, but I choose oh. to think that it's like no, it's it's. Yeah, I mean that's interesting. I I mean that's fine. I don't think there's anything too bad about his take there. Like I don't think he's even because the way the dude said it, like he just said he loved the Reva story. I don't really think that's what he said. I think to him it made sense if, and it felt Star Wars. Oh, if he loved the Reva story, he loved the Reva story. <clears throat> I ain't gonna shit on a man's opinion just because it's different than mine. Like, mm -hmm. oh, happy for him. Happy he liked it. I didn't. I thought her literally getting stabbed twice by Vader was 
and living is like we get it you want her to be a thing you yeah. we wa you want her to survive well why not just have her not get stabbed why not just have vader like force choke her and like throw her into a pile of rubble and she survives like getting her head banged up all right mm -hmm. stab twice once as a kid by anakin during order 60 you're telling me I just makes you so infuriated. You're telling me Sindrelic, who got stabbed in the goddamn shoulder, died. But little baby Reva gets stabbed in the chest by Anakin and doesn't die. Like... She had two stomachs. Like, go... Read a book. Come on. I'm about to get yeah, dude. Let's move on. Yeah, just go read a book, Sam Whitworth. Uh, Justin Lopez says, hey guys, first time donation. I just want to say thanks for making Mondays better. Also, it's my B-Day. Nice. Happy birthday, Happy Justin. Man. Happy birthday. Hope you Happy celebrate. Birthday. Hope you celebrate. Bring back the <laughs> Hell no, dude. My neck was so messed up from that. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Uh, do you think we're ever supposed to get a cartoon a la Clone Wars to fill in the time between episode one and two to build up? That would be fun. <laughs> I think that'd be interesting for sure. Do Q and Anakin's journey. Why not? <laughs> read, read what I sent you on Discord. I just realized what it actually meant. And uh, I didn't realize. God, he's still at it again. Yeah, then I get told not to spam after sending the same message through after 50 attempts over there. Bro, you never paid. What are you whining? Why are you crying? What are you crying about? Why are you crying? Dang. Come on, bro. You're fine. Why are you whining? I don't Chill understand. Out. Chill out. Chill out or leave. Chill out or leave, man. All right. Stop breathing into the mic. Make Gary the truck. <laughs> Gary the Stormtrooper can. He's back. Fine, Brady. Mitch says, Tails trailer gave me chills. Plus, it comes out on my birthday, so I can't wait to watch it with you guys. Uh, thank you all for all that you do. And keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Dude, you know, um, I noticed it seemed like everybody had a birthday this year. Like, what's that about? Oh, he was trolling us. He was trolling. He was joking. What? Uh, Tales gave me chills. Plus, it comes out on my birthday, so I can't wait to watch it with you guys. Thank you for all you do. And get, what, what, what did you? Sorry, I'm sorry. What did you say? I was reading chat on over there. <laughs> well, no, no, I said uh, it seemed like everybody I know had a birthday this year. This is crazy. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the dad yeah. jokes have begun. They have. They're in season. And they disappoint. <laughs> what? Oh. That one was the best. Come on. Bob Ross corrupted Jar Jar to the top. That, pro that makes sense. The more that I think about it. Yeah, sure. Well, after episode six, I gave up on Star Wars, but I still watch you guys every Monday in Den of Nerds. I now uh, go with the phrase that Josh praises. Don't think about it too much, too much. Don't you mean episode seven, dude? Or do you What's mean that? episode do you mean episode nine or eight? Yeah, wait, it can't be six, dude, because that six was a uh, Return of the Jedi. And that shit was eighty three. Awesome. Nineteen eighty three. I meant the new Star Wars documentary on the secret behind the scenes. Oh, number six on Vice. It has a great. I heard, yeah. Oh, what? Yep, I heard that was really good. Actually, yeah. Wait, where do I get my hands on this? You can't. Why? I don't know. Why? You could probably find it. Why? It was on Vice, though, so I don't know. Why? I have three dogs, four and a half cats, a turtoise named Cat Rex and a bird. Bird's wow. not good enough to get a name? We should uh, change your name to Ace Ventura. Yeah. Pet Detective. Theory, I think you're referring to Irvine Spectrum set. Yeah, probably. I saw Dragon Ball Super Broly at the same time, at the same theater. I wish I saw you there. Yeah, I, I think it was empty. It was huge that theater it, the screen was literally curved what it was literally curved it was huge i don't know Massive. if i like that it was like curving inwards i don't like that yeah, whatever. 
I don't want it to curve. Did he oh, we just thing? read this. No, he sent yeah. it again. Oh, snap. Maybe a slip of the finger. See, because his had a different look to it. Hold on. The original one. I will find it. Da, da, da. See? So what's the new one say? It's 10 bucks. But the new one, 20 I gave up on Saturday. Oh, Last Jedi. Jedi. See, I, I knew it. Jedi, but I knew still it. Every Monday and catch Josh on Den of Nerds. I just live with Josh's phrase now. Don't think about it too much. Too just enjoy much. the content. Don't think about Wait, come on. Come on. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Wait. Did you break it? Don't think about it too much, too much. Oh, yeah. I don't think any effects coming through. Yeah, here you go. Don't think about it too much. Oh, there you go. Too much. Oh, yeah. That's it. Should be a DJ, dude. DJ Theory. Josh, every explanation of copium on Friday seem stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I went kind of hard on Star Wars on Friday. Mm. But it's okay. You know, we got it out of our system. Now we're all positive. No more toxicity for me. Don't think about it too much, too much. Uh, uh, can we get insight when it comes to DMs you guys had, like racist accusations? Of what? I have no idea what you're talking about, brother. If somebody, oh, no, no, that's just what they say to general in general about Star Wars. Yeah, fans that don't like stuff. Uh, no, yeah, just go on Twitter. Go on Twitter yeah. and say you don't like something. You'll either be called a shill or a hater or a. a I'm just starting it over it, dude. I just ignore people. I don't care. Bro, best decision I ever made was deleting my Twitter account. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you, bro. Hello, oh, my wife is sitting back in the living room and hear me listening. You just said, if I hear him go one more time, I said to blow his freaking nose. Love you guys. Hey, what do you want from me, okay? I mean, yes. Well, yeah. Who's the best duelist in the uh, Dooku? Who's the best duelist, the Jedi or the Sith? Probably Dooku, I'd say. Hey, what up, guys? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I keep stealing them from you, so I should be sorry. I should be sorry, Josh. Okay. Well, either way, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell that was? Have Did I either you watched Star Wars? <clears throat> is it worth i did time? not i did not I watch, watch it i think i watched like two or three episodes and i was like dude this is it's really boring. childish like boring. it's way more childish than uh rebels don't think <laughs> about it too <laughs> much too <laughs> much oh, yeah. over under <laughs> on how many blinkers theories are right now also ps bring ezra miller to star wars oh my ezra. god i'd prefer to take ezra away from even the flash so. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't even drink coffee, dude. Yeah. And as for me, like the great Salvador Dali said, I don't do drugs. I am drugs. <laughs> uh, were there many Wookiee Jedi? I know Plo Koon had Trivaka as his master and also fan fiction on what Luke Jones, the Imperial Academy. Ooh, what do you think about you know, that? You know what Koon means in Farsi? No. Ass. <laughs> what? No way. So, would you do that fan fiction of if Luke actually went to the Imperial Academy? Because that's kind of fun. Uh, maybe. Perhaps. That could be chill, bro. Oh, boy. Gosh, what are my here. thoughts on Black Adam? Fate looks baller. Hawkman and Arlie, too. Ah, uh, brother. I'm sorry to report that the Black Adam movie is doing very little for me. 
And I like Black Adam in the comics, but his origins completely changed. It literally just looks like The Rock wearing a bad Black Adam <laughs> costume. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what you want from me, dog. He didn't change his accent. He didn't do the pointy ears. He doesn't have hair. It's literally the fucking Rock. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, why only 20 years? What the hell? Dude, it's so wild. Yeah. So, sorry. It's just not doing it for me. Glad you're having fun. Congrats on the baby. Who is worse at what they are doing? The Russian army or Disney's Lucasfilm? I mean, the Russian army know. has certainly taken a big L recently. So, we'll see. See how that shapes. Y'all should order some pizza. I'm actually good. I had a bunch of food before this. Actually, that's why we were late. We were both eating. Ben Snow says, just because I feel like it'd make a cool story. I wanted to ask if you saw my comment on your post about fan fiction requests. I think it'd work well, says Ben Snow. I did not. Ben Snow. Hmm. Well, there you have I it. might have. I might have. I don't know. Well, there I it is. I have to go and check. Check it out. Again. Again. And look and for also ben check on that dude's uh, super chat from two years ago too. Me 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 me. me. <laughs> uh, you mentioned the nerfing of Star Wars MCU last week. The best example of strong, well-written female characters would be Mando season two, Bo, Ahsoka, Kara, and Fennec. All amazing, and they didn't have to lower Mando to do so. Yep, I agree, and I also think Black Widow during the whole Infinity Saga was a really great, interesting, very adept. Uh, female character she was well done so theory with a many oh we had just talked about this um fanfic sounds cool and i don't think there were too many wiki jedi bro oh you guys will get one in the vader episode too oh vader becomes a wiki yeah and then it ends Damn. this chaz craze this chaz dude is the new zane Maybe oh, his chat, oh, chat is crazy. Best animated Star Wars episode ever. Um, mm, Twin Suns is pretty good. Umbara arc was pretty, pretty dope. With all the yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Hmm. Who here is in high school and is doing homework while they're listening to this? Spam. Is F. school back? People are back in school? Yeah, it's September 12th. Huh. Hats off to you. Hats off to you guys. School. School. Yeah. Uh, did Yoda Obi ever find out how Mace died? Probably not. Not that I know of. I love how 80% of the chat has a birthday every single stream. Y'all be having a birthday every minute. Eat some cheese if you want. <laughs> yeah, tell them. Tell them. How dare they have birthdays. And eat that cheese. Soren says, love you guys. Love this community more than anything. I really hope Dave is the lead on almost every project at this point. We need one singular vision, and he's the one. Again, you guys are the best. Thanks, man. And we, we, we like Dave that same way. So, yeah, that would be nice for the brand. It would be a big dub, as they say. You guys excited for Vader Episode 2 Cinematic? Yeah, are you? Nope, not excited enough. Can't hear you. Freaking. Oh, by the way, now they have uh, Super Thanks on videos chat, so that means when Vader Episode 2 comes out. What the hell is a Super Thank? It's a Super Chat for a video. And your mm. comment shows up as a super chat forever. What really? Yes, you can like donate five bucks to a video or two bucks. Two bucks, as Ooh. you guys like. Mm -hmm. That's kind of wild. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this sucked, and it'd be highlighted. So yeah, that's super thanks. It's now available on the Chanel. Could also be technically a out. super thanks for nothing. You know, if you put that in there. So yeah, yeah. You must do what you feel is right, of course. Yep. But I'm just saying, you know, when episode two comes out. Or the cinematic. What's up, boys? Coming in from watching Monday Night Football, showing some love and fellow b-holes here. Smash that like. Do it now. What's up, Mr. J. Westman? 
Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. The Strem. Hope you're enjoying their, their football game. What's the score? Tell me, chat. What's the score anyway, huh? Yeah, the Ahsoka Luke ship is annoying, but I'm proposing Dooku Yaddle to take his oh. place. Have a great night. Oh, my God. The what visuals. The, hell, dude? the visuals. Let's do it. I would spend money, but the guy clearly doesn't need it. So, what do you mean I don't need it? I'm going to be spending half a million dollars on a Vader fan film I can't make money on. I already spent 160 on it before, and each of these cinematics cost me. The last one was like 40, and this one's like over 20. So, yeah, Chaz, I don't need to be doing any of this shit. I just do it because I want to be a good content creator. I want to make cool shit about Star Wars that I like. I yeah, Chaz. <laughs> And every single amount of success I have is because I worked for it. It's not, it's not daddy's money. I, don't say, I hate when people say that. Don't say that shit. Don't say yeah. that. Chaza, you don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, holy shit. You know what? You can't watch it. You can't watch Vader Episode 2. I'm going to personally... Yeah, you don't even get to watch it, dog. Hey, you guys, let's pop up. Go Steelers. Go Steelers! Yo, how about that? Oh. Blocking of the extra point at the end of the game. They thought it was good. They thought they were Gucci. Gonna get back on the bus. And hell nah. I got it. Ezra Miller or Joseph? No. Coney? I don't know who that is. Uh, who leader as uh, face of Star Wars? Ezra finally wins. Dude, you know, I... Remember Coney 2012? Hmm? Coney 2012. I remember. Hmm. Google it. All right. Gary, who did you use for Vader Part 1.5 animation? I'm trying to make my own fanfic, and I'm trying to get a grip on what it'll take. Cheers. 1.5 animation. The one you currently have out so far, I guess, is probably what he's referring to. Like the Mace one? Because aren't you going to replace the, the Vader model, you said? Yeah. What are you trying to get a grip on? You just hire competent people. And you have a vision, and you tell them your, what your vision is. Yeah. They make shit. Yeah. And then you pay money. And then you pay out the butt. I out the butt, yeah. Babu Frick versus BD1. Hey, dude, were you Babu excited to see day. that? Babu Frick is back. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Mando. Yep. DC presents The Rock, starring The Rock as The Rock. Yeah, literally. Yep. That's what it is. Did you see him plug his movie when he was doing his condolence tweet for the queen? Bro, ain't no way. Really? You didn't see that? Dude, he... Unless it was fake. All right? But from <laughs> what I saw, he was like, yo, like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, I know she would have loved my new Black Adam movie coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yo! Like, there's no way. Dude, I mean, He's, unless it was, dude, it, it, maybe it was fake. Maybe, maybe it's my bad. Maybe it was fake. The Rock, uh, mean tweet. Let me see if that shit was real. Oh, okay, no, okay, it was fake. Still, it's pretty believable though. Okay, it was fake, dude. Yeah, it was fake. All right. Yeah, dude, The Rock is something, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's fake. Okay, all right. All right, it was fake. The, the trouble is, though, is that it, we kind of believed it because he's so like that, that you're like, I can see it. Yeah, dude, I believed it. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy that something fake like that could blow up that much and people actually believed it wow. yeah yeah it was viewed millions of times the second fake tweet said everyone knows black adam has only two weaknesses lightning oh wow crazy yeah that's that's yeah that's not good hmm. yeah that's fake as hell damn Jesus, the Rock, what happened? Dude, I, feel like, yeah, I, I, like, I feel like The Rock used to be like Keanu level cool, and now he is so not, and Keanu is so cool still. Yeah, I think there are just too many people like on his team. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe he just makes he just makes too much money. He's, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's all sure. he has to protect his brand at all costs. Like he's gotten to the point where his brand is so 
central to his success that it's all just about his brand. There's he can't be authentic. And you know what's interesting is like, you know, after Will Smith sna uh, slapped the shit out of Chris Rock, like Chappelle had some really interesting comments about it where he said like basically this mask that Will Smith was wearing of being this perfect person like was ripped off in this really really ugly way. And I feel like that's true. And I also feel like The Rock has had this mask on and has had this mask on forever. And it's possible that when it comes off, it won't be pretty. You know what I mean? Because nobody's really is, like that. I know people who know The Rock, and they all say he's actually a really nice guy. I just think he's... um, Yeah, I just think maybe there's just too many PR people, you know? I think he's fake as fuck, bro. I don't want to believe it, you know, because he seems like a cool dude, but damn. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, he could be a cool dude and be fake as fuck. I mean, a lot of people are fake. Um, it's fine. And I think that there's a version of fake rock that's even worse or whatever. But, like, I don't know. Maybe it's hard for people like us, too. Because, like, when he was in the Attitude Era of the WWE. He was the WWE, coolest cat. Bro, this, that, was, that, was to, that was a totally different guy. Like, right? the rock? He's, he's in movies now? I'm going to see that movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now it seems like everything's just very buttoned up, very protected, very calculated, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, man. Whatever. It happens. It's, it's his life, whatever. My feelings would feel a lot better if we see a lot of Anakin talking, maybe even fighting together, training in Ahsoka. Also, if they make episode 10, 11, 12 with Kylo Ray, Kid Skywalker. That's just me. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Directed by Ryan Jansen. Theory. How about a fanfic on what if Anakin didn't win the pod race in episode one? Also, did you ever play Battlefront 1 on PS2 and Battlefront 2 on PS2? I did not. Those Battlefront mm -hmm. games were legit. I had a PlayStation 1. I didn't have a PlayStation 2. You didn't get a PS2? No. Are you kidding me? Bro, you're looking at me like I w made that choice. Like A PlayStation 2? It was like one, literally one of the best consoles that were ever made. It lasted for like 10 years, had incredible shelf life, all kinds of great games. Are you kidding me? Why don't you go back in time and talk to my parents, all right? I will. 24 hours with a Vaporeon or a Dolphin? Vaporeon. Are you kidding me? It's a Vaporeon. It's a Pokemon. You know about Vaporeon? Right. Would you rather have Harvey Weinstein <laughs> directing a new Star Wars show? Bro, the, bro as a middle, be the focal point of every show. I ain't answering these shits anymore. Yeah, this hypothetical sucks. I tuned in at the best time. Good for you, Tom Fuckery. <laughs> I can't believe they let you get that name, dude. <laughs> Revolution LeMail. I mean, you started something. The Jabroni that's going to be live action Ezra. Do you think he'll do well? Dawson did great as Ahsoka. <laughs> the Jabroni? Motherfucker's a Jabroni now? Uh, Dawson did great as Ahsoka. So my expectations oh, are a level. Jabroni. He's just talking about the dude that got cast Jabroni. as Ezra. That's a rock. That's a old rock. Foolish or contempt contemptible person. Yeah, the rock used to call people Jabronis all the time. Stupid, foolish, contemptible. Contempt contemptible. Loser. <laughs> she always has to come back to own the trolls and jabronis on Twitter. Shut your mouth, you dumb jabroni. <laughs> what a <Thanks> weird... <laughs> thanks, That's the sentence they gave you guys? Yeah, thanks, Google. Appreciate it. That's weird. I think that dude will do good. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Hey, Theory and Josh. Theory, I have the best memories listening to your what ifs back when I was living out the back of my parents' place while I was studying. Now I have a baby girl. God bless. That's crazy. That's crazy. Good for you, man. Awesome. Yeah, congrats. Can freaking congratulations. Would you rather see CGI? Jesus. I ain't answering. Some of these are cancelable, bro. I ain't answering. Yeah, I know, right? Jeez. Yeah, ain't happening, dude. Holy shit. Happening. That's going, well, wow. that's it. That's it. That's it. You 4chan loving shit posters. Yeah, we love you, though. We wouldn't be here without you. We do. We do love you. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. When you're not stinky buttholes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The first order. <laughs> it's about it too much, too oh snap! 
Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, we had a good time tonight. Thanks for chilling with us. As always, nerd theorites. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Would you rather see Amber Heard pay debt 15 milli or Ezra deported? I'm pretty sure. Is Ezra Canadian? That'd be kind of funny. Is he? No. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, no. Damn. You know what? Yeah, what, do you, what do you guys got in the water up there? See you later, Darth. Later, Darth. I gave you five and took four. Why you got 24? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Math? I don't know, bro. It's two bucks. Don't yeah. think about it too much. <laughs> yeah, then put my brain in a pretzel. <laughs> I saw a video on YouTube of Qui Gon going to arrest the Chancellor with Mace Widu. Nice. Fake news, bro. It's not how it happened. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I see hair, but it doesn't mean it's real. Oh, shit. Do you really? No. That magic mirror? Um, no. a good looking bald bitch <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you thanks for all the great content what would have happened if windu brought plo and ki adi mundi with instead of aiden core and says he probably would have had a better freaking chance probably but they still would have got cut they still would have gotten absolutely diced dice sliced and diced so in the novel anakin walked over ki uh, uh kit fisto's head what he was walking in there yeah no I was head on the floor. Oh. It's not fun. It's not cool. Uh, you aren't done until we say so. Tuh, for one ninety nine, hell, hell, I am. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all the two dollars are coming out. Yeah. This, all right. Well, good night, guys. We love you. Appreciate much it. Much love. Much okay. love. Hope you had a great, great evening. Um, congrats to the. You guys think the guy with the double red saber and tails trailer could be a pre cyborg Grievous? No, I think it's the six oh, brother. They already, they already said it. So yeah. mm -hmm. it's after loads of data. Thanks, yeah. Nicholas, for always being so positive and supportive. We love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the night. Oh, and uh, Vader episode two cinematic should be out for you next week. So become a join member now for 99 cents. I mean, you can find that in your cushion, You're supporting a new project. There you go. There the you go. And film Get it done. The best. The best ever. Yeah. Yeah, I will yeah. make it good. Uh, anyways, hopefully. Um, yeah, no, seriously, we love you guys, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for uh, having a good Monday with us. And, um, yeah. Suck your butts! You can rest now. You're sounding like a separatist.